Buying a car can be crazy, and when you do, you want to go with a extremely reliable brand, and that's what you get when you buy Subaru. When you buy a Subaru, you're buying more than just a vehicle. You're buying safety for your family and investment that will hold its value. Um, their resale value on Subarus it's are ridiculous. Crazy, didn't you? You just had a listener. What did you get? A Forester? You got a WRX. Ah, yeah, the WRX. And uh, so when you're buying Subaru, you're buying trust, and they have great vehicles. Go down and talk to Mike Stacks. Yep. Uh, that's a sport. Port Subaru, North John Young Parkway. And when you talk to them, let them know you're a Tom and Dan listener and you can come in and watch the show. For a limited time, you can celebrate special offers during the Subaru A Lot to Love event now through April 1st. Again, that's Sport Subaru, North John Young Parkway. Welcome back to A Corporate Time. John Graham's here. Yay! How you doing? Hey! <laughs> he brought us some treats. Yes, treats. Time, John's on the couch bringing the treats. Bag of treats. Is it treats called Graham's treats? Graham's treats. Graham's, Graham's, treats. <laughs> Graham's Central Station of Treats. Uh, Graham Snackers. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Graham. Like or did that. we already decide on the name of it's this? Called, it's called yeah. What's in My Mouth. <laughs> well, what did I just mouth. eat was one of the things we threw out there. Oh, yeah, yeah. What I did thought, I just I eat? I think we were calling it What's in My Mouth. Oh, okay. what did I put in my mouth? I wasn't mouth? joking. When I, said that. I thought it was like, what's in my mouth? It tastes like pinch of penny. <laughs> oh, John do. <laughs> First one to laugh, pervert. <laughs> that was a trick question. We had to see if you were a pervert. You'll fit in nicely here, John. Uh, that's why, yeah. yeah. You, well, if you've been on the show more three than times. once, three, yeah, you you're know. You're part of our team. Yeah, if yeah, you've been on the couch yeah. three times, you're a grade A, uh, good old American patriot pervert. <laughs> <laughs> so there's John, good alliteration in that. All right, so um, I you have a duffel bag of treats. You got it, and uh, let's just get right to it. Yeah, uh, what yeah. do we got first? So what's mo- in the most, bag? Most what's in your are, bag? Yeah, <laughs> most of these are new products. Uh, some of them might be things I just missed, but this we almost got a theme going this week. These are all things that are supposed to taste like something else. So like uh, uh, it's supposed to taste like pinch penny, but it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> so like I got pop tarts. Uh, these are supposed to taste like something else that's a name brand thing. Oh. Like it doesn't taste like raspberry or banana split here. Okay, all right. Okay. All right. So it's like a mystery to... Pop Tart. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. So I mean, I'm going to open I mean, this up. it says on the packaging, but oh, obviously so I, I took we'll, it out of the packaging. We'll split yeah. one. I'm well, gonna... I don't think it says on oh, the packaging. Oh, okay. Gotcha. There you are, sir. You know, it's, it's weird what because it like here? I, w- I did grow up as a white trash kid in Miami. But you didn't eat Pop Tarts. And didn't eat Pop Tarts. I didn't either. That wasn't part of my white trash diet. That's weird because you have the complexion. Of a pop tart, <laughs> look like a human pop tart. It was sun kissed, Mama Fireball. Celeste. Oh, no, man. no. I'll give you a hint. It's a breakfast cereal. Those are my toast crunch. There's definitely cinnamon in there. Mm-hmm. Apple Jacks. There you go. All right. There Apple Jacks pop tarts. People at home can't see. It's it's orange and green Bro, you just sprinkles. Got, and you just got I never really thought about the fact that pop tarts are kind of orange. This or is... sorry, not pop tarts. Uh, apple Ooh, jacks. That's a lot of sugar right there, buddy. Oh, oh my yes. god! I just got a sugar right wait, wait till you see eyes. what else I got. <laughs> Holy moly! I like how like. Uh... Oh, it should be called. Wait till you see my snacks. <laughs> okay, I like, that. <laughs> All right. I like that. All right, but we wait whisper. Wait till you see my snacks. Make that wait. intro song. Wait till you see my snacks, bitch. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> whisper yeah. the bitch in there. Yeah, yeah. you gotta. Yeah, yeah. 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 There but we John Graham has to whisper. John's like, come over here, dirty mom. I'm gonna show y'all my snacks. Yeah, bag full of snacks. I'm gonna put them in your bag. I'm gonna see it. You see it? I want you to see my ding dong. <laughs> no, come on, dude, come on. That all was right. John. I was looking to see if <laughs> had ding dongs. So that was John saying that. Uh, all right. So, where'd you get these? Two, uh, uh, let's John? see. Those were just uh, the grocery store. Oh, okay, right. <laughs> <laughs> my dead neighbor. Uh, I, went, him. I was creeping through my dead neighbor's apartment, and I just helped myself to some of his snacks. <laughs> Who? Someone in the chat said their family used to bring pop tarts to the beach. Now that's trash. That is trash. Mm-hmm. Uh, That's cake by the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> is that cake? Is that cake? <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know. I mean, um, I used to when I like because I never grew up. That's the Pop-Tarts. sweetest pop tart I've ever had. By the way, That's I'm sorry, sweet. John. <laughs> John, am I allowed to say I don't like something? Yeah. Oh, you yeah. don't care. You're not going to make it. You didn't get this for free. But that's too sweet. And Maisie it's loves It's just a cookie, right? Maisie loves <laughs> just sugar. Oh, Maisie yeah. loves Pop Tarts. Mm-hmm. Oh, she's yeah. trashy. Everything I was Maisie the weird eats kid because I didn't like Pop Tarts mm-hmm. as a kid. Would you? Did you like toaster strudel? No. I didn't eat any of that, but I didn't eat pastries, donuts. Mm. Here's the weird one: not yeah. a lot of people eat them like we did without putting uh, without putting them in the toaster. Yeah, yeah. Try, yeah. try spreading butter on one. Weird on no, butter. Right. Yeah, you well, are butter. a pervert. <laughs> <laughs> you put, like, this guy puts butter on his yeah, pop tart. Like, Butter's his pop tart. You ever put like butter on banana bread or something like that? Hell yeah, no, I, I haven't, yeah. but I'll try. Oh, Sam. 
Fresh. Okay, it's got to be fresh, though. Andrea makes amazing mm. banana bread. Uh, man, I'll, I'll make you a loaf. Oh, yeah. You cut it, and then you, while it's hot, while mm-hmm. it's still hot, then you take it's right out of the oven. You cut it hot. You butter it. Let the butter melt. But then you still toast it. Mm. Oh, I'm hot. in. Oh, God. That it's sounds am- amazing. It's amazing. So, uh, John, not to uh, tangent, he- but hey, go are you, are you, speaking of putting butter on things, uh, <laughs> uh, Crystal, relax, I want to butter your ding dong. I got to go. <laughs> Crystal uh, will make these healthy snacks for the boys because mm-hmm. she gets. Oh, uh, God, carrot, hot dogs all over again. <laughs> yeah. She gets. Par- like, she'll wake up and it's then she'll. Broccoli be like, jerky. All the boys eat uh, is carbs. They don't have little enough. Little smokies. <laughs> yeah, they, but the little smokies, at least, that's protein. It's Sodium though, it like is. she indoctrinated Max yeah. into being a vegetarian, oh, so he yeah. doesn't eat any protein. Lay's potato chips. <laughs> so <laughs> she panics. So then she she bakes these little like cakes that are filled with carrots. I, I, I made some broccoli and, cakes for you, and yeah, and it's little all it's, baby it's, carrot cakes. It's like vegetable I don't cupcakes. Like vegetable mm-hmm. cupcakes. Yeah, yeah. I'll punt that <laughs> as yeah. garbage. And, and then she she bakes them. She's like frosting on it at least. No, no, but no, no. So, you gotta dip it in uh, mustard. So there's like here, I they're completely made of a like. Uh, zucchini, squash, zucchini. Uh, oh, carrots, and they're all vegetables. No, thank you. No, and, thank and then you. She, and I'm like, are they good? And she's like, well, you have to smear <laughs> butter all over them <laughs> to eat them. And then I'm like, well, what's the point of that? Right. You got to smear butter on it. Like, uh, you know, of course it's good. I'm going right. all meat this year. I'm doing the uh, animal. I'm doing the whole, carnivore. like, I'm doing the carnivore. Yeah. Yeah. One thing I didn't bring, but uh, you might be able to slip past her, is Reese's peanut butter cups you've seen they have every shape in the world now they have a frozen thing it's banana slices i've had those little peanut butter and then chocolate they're all a little around weird them. They're a little the, banana, the banana tastes a little weird to me okay uh, well, have you ever had a frozen banana yeah the, you know, to me it tastes maybe like that, maybe it's because it's sliced i don't know it was mm-hmm. a little odd to me you know i blame tom brady for this but when it came out that he didn't eat strawberries oh, i was strawberries like strawberries are amazing <laughs> i was like i thought strawberries were healthy and then he he's like nope strawberries are yeah, sugar. just a uh, sugar yeah. like it's sugar, a sugar. candy bar a lot of fruit is a <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sugar sugar. fruit yeah. is bad like and then i'm like no <laughs> because i just lived my entire yeah. life thinking that oh yeah, yeah. fruit i got to mix some fruit I mean, the, apple a day to the point that brady it, said that, that strawberries were the <laughs> It's only, all lies. Strawberries were the only health food I was eating. <laughs> <laughs> and I had to yeah, eliminate yeah. that. It turns out all fruit is a yeah. basically candy yeah, yeah. and uh, yeah. garbage. Mm-hmm. Uh, you anyway. know what's Nature's better candy. than nature's candy, though? Good old human candy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. If it's candy, <laughs> I'll eat the uh, yeah, yeah. Snickers But I, th- exactly. I do think that candy gets the edge on fruit. Fruit's like gay candy. Yeah, 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 like. yeah, 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 yeah. Write that down. We turn fruit into candy. <laughs> uh, hey, John's trying sorry, to clean John. up my mess. Don't you clean up my mess, John. What do we got next here? Well, actually, here, this is the first one. Somebody actually sent me something. I asked for it, and they sent me for free. So I don't know if this is in stores here yet. This Hubba Bubba. You remember yeah, Hubba Bubba, right? Hubba Bubba. So they, they Hubba brought Bubba. it back as, like, these little plastic tubs with, uh, yeah. with gum You're in them. You're supposed so, to put it And this one is actually it. sugar-free, but here, take a... You're supposed I'm to toss it toss put the Hubba Bubba... Like, the reason that all gum comes in a very small... Yeah. Like a uh, in a, like a small cup uh-huh. is because they want you to put this in your drink holder, right? That makes sense. Oh, uh-huh. I never even thought. Oh, about I swear that. to God, I mm-hmm. see these all the time, and it makes me mad because I'm like, who the hell is going to drive around with gum in the drink holder? <laughs> well, but I, I think that's I what it's now. for. It this angers is great me. Great for my weed later. <laughs> <laughs> Here, you want some gum? So sugar-free hubba bubba, huh? Yeah, no, but this is. It's not just hubba bubba. It's it tastes like it something? tastes like something now, else. Now, okay. are they another, all the same flavor, name brand. or is each no, color? No, this one is each. Each one is actually. I'm going for green. I'm going orange. So you go the. I'm going purple then. Here we go. This tastes like Purple lime. Oh, hubba bubba. Mm-hmm. Hubba bubba bubba. Bubba bubba. They are all fruit flavored. This tastes like pine salt. <laughs> mm. Green is pine salt for sure. Did I mention they're the one who gave me this? No, I'm kidding. Mine. Mm. What do you got over there? It's a lot of citric acid, whatever it is. Mm-hmm. A lot of juice. Yeah, I'm eating a juicy mouth. Here, Tom, throw me the container there. Mm. I have a juicy mouth. You're supposed to swallow it, right? No. no it's kids' <laughs> gum. Well, I mean... Uh, it's gum. Oh, no! You're going to pluck it. I never eat gum. Uh, you you're not supposed candy. to eat gum. You're supposed to chew gum. You, you swallow the gum. gum. Dude, you swallow the gum, you're going to plug your butthole. <laughs> That's what I heard. That's what I heard. This uh, too shall pass. I <laughs> bubba poured it. Gross. You hubba bubbed your bubba. And I think uh, swallowing sugar-free gum is going to give you explosive <laughs> diarrhea, right? Now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like eating an entire bag of sugar-free hair mode, but then just parking it in your stomach forever. I was going to make the big reveal, and then I tore it, but it's Skittles-flavored. 
Okay, oh. they do. You know what's now that you say that, I'm gonna give that one because normally on these on your bit, mm-hmm. I, I bag on a lot of products. <laughs> but I'm gonna give that one eight I'm gonna give that one a they got it. They got it right. It tastes like Skittles. Pretty exactly. Mm. Exactly. And, like and I don't know if this will help you, but it is uh, this one is sugar free. It's made with like the Artificial sweetness. Yeah, I don't know if it's better or worse. <laughs> but that gives yeah. you explosive. Oh, I, it's like you ate a whole thing of Pringles. Oh, my, yeah, yeah. I'm already cramping. Yeah. I'm already cramping like I'm on my period. Oh, uh, I'm gonna uh, between the pop tart and the sugar-free hubba <laughs> bubba. Oh I, man, yeah. I gotta run three miles today. <laughs> oh, you're gonna be real fast. You're gonna break all times. I'm gonna be tired with diarrhea. <laughs> Wait, I'll give you a break. Oh, yeah. this, is, this is one of the few things I've got here that isn't all sugary. But it's uh, Jack Link's beef jerky. Oh, and but he it's taped but over. But it's the flavor it. of something else. Yeah, but uh oh, I know what this but is. I like he taped over it, so it looks like you just I uh, had stole some this of from this a dead weekend. man. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, you did have I this. I did one. have this this weekend. I know what this is. Already, I love the smell of it. Mm, I'm gonna take a big piece. This was very controversial over the weekend. Big uh, piece. Half yeah, the people piece. loved it. Half okay. the people mm-hmm. hated it. All right. I never even knew. Like I know mm, that. I'm like, good. I've tried. Do, like, it. Yeah. Crack pepper and some other stuff, mm-hmm. but like There's I all don't kinds of flavors do. now, man. I don't want crack yeah. pepper. What am I? An old tugboat captain? <laughs> <laughs> I love yeah. cracked pepper. No, they're like, ah, what did you put on this to make it taste good, tugboat captain? He's like, you put cracked pepper on it. <laughs> all right, what flavors um, are you guys getting out of this jerky? I know what Just it is, but sure yeah. that's what you got. Yeah, okay. mm-hmm. it is a strong the- flavor. I like it, but I can see where people wouldn't. Because all I'm picking up is like a ter- like a cumin. Uh, I got some cumin beef jerky and a, uh, and a teriyaki. No, it's not teriyaki. What is no. that? Think um, oh. all beef jerky is probably gonna taste a little like teriyaki. a little teriyaki. Right. It's all that yeah. soy sauce. Yeah, garlic. there's always yeah. soy sauce in there. Right? Oh yeah, but it, it's something there. What yeah, is there that? Is. I wouldn't it's have gotten n- this for the mm-hmm. record. There's no way in hell I would have. And I'm. Pre- have you had the product that particular product? Yes. And flavor? Yes. Okay. But I would have never gotten this because I don't think they put enough. It, it's not mm-hmm. executed correctly. It doesn't have enough of the spice. Well, the beef jerky overwhelms whatever it flavor. Hold mm-hmm. on. Yeah, but this is this is, this, one, this is one in a series. <laughs> he's, he's tiny. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, you have the tiny the jerky. Because if you eat too much of it, I'm just getting he's all sucking, beef. He's yeah. sucking mm-hmm. the tip of the jerky. <laughs> it's freaking me out. That's how you do it. Put it on the camera. <laughs> That's how we do it. Here, I'll, I'll zoom in. Goodness. <laughs> it's a, oh, I'm close. Ew. <laughs> he's getting there. He's getting there. He's all there. I'm close. Keep sucking. Keep sucking. Oh, it doesn't work anymore. <laughs> uh, Keep sucking and fighting. Uh, all of this time, this I, research. I got nothing. Okay. Okay. What, what really? is it, John? It's Doritos sweet, uh, spicy sweet chili flavor. Yeah. Oh, Have you Doritos. had those chips? The Doritos sweet. Yeah, uh, spicy it's the bag. I can chili. eat the entire bag. So they didn't put enough. Your daughter might like that. They didn't put. She would. She loves beef jerky too. Maisie is beef jerky crazy. All right, not to get too mad at Jack Links here, mm-hmm. but they do have. I don't like the name Jack Links. Uh, I feel like the name Jack Links. All your beef jerky should be Little Links. <laughs> They, there is a jab because I'll get beef jerky at Seven Eleven mm-hmm. as a snack sometimes. Yeah. And what are you bragging? Uh, there is a, <laughs> there is not a really brag because it's like eight bucks. Yeah, Seven Eleven is the worst place. I think it's so about. expensive. You get Jack's links at Seven Eleven. Andrea makes me get Seven Eleven brand. <laughs> really? Yes, because beef jerky. That's if you human dog. Expensive. If you <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> I said it right. How dare you? <laughs> Why well, was I was gonna say if you buy uh, if you buy a full size bag of Jack's Links at Seven Eleven, that's seventy one dollars. Yeah, but so but Jack's Links does have a like a sweet and spicy flavor. Yes, mm-hmm. it all tastes so like, like, like dog food. I feel like they're just using their the, sweet and spicy yeah. and just putting Doritos, Doritos on. Yeah, it. yeah. 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 They, 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 you take your base because for sure they have some partnership with yeah. Doritos. Yeah. Like, yeah. They, they, you know what I'm saying? Like, so, give us some of your stupid dust. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like because I pick up no actual Dorito from no. this, mm-hmm. uh, but I do sure. taste the chili spice, which they already had. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, they just they got this one. They got doing flaming hot. And the one I couldn't find yet, I don't think it's here in this area, is uh, Fritos Chili Cheese. All right. uh, yeah. Yeah. We do have the Chili Cheese Fritos at the Baldwin Publix, which was my dad's favorite Frito. Mm-hmm. Chili Cheese Frito. When's yep. the last time you had a Chili Cheese Frito? It's been a while. They still slap. Uh, oh, God. <laughs> now you're doing the Sabrina. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I was going to slip that in. <laughs> um, it tastes exactly the same as they've, they've always tasted. And barbecue Fritos are good as well. All right. What else so you got, got? Okay. How about Donuts? 
No. Donuts. No, 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 did you just go to Maisie's secret uh, <laughs> snack closet? This is everything my daughter eats. My daughter is so <laughs> trashy. So yeah, pop tarts, so it's, it's chewing gum. gum. Okay. Donuts Turkey. has all the Pop-tarts. regular flavors. She loves pop tarts. She loves chewing gum. Mm-hmm. What's the other things we have? Beef jerky. She loves yeah. beef jerky. <laughs> I got jelly beans and peeps coming up um, after this. Right. We, Easter. B- we buy these, but we buy the powdered ones because mm-hmm. that was my dad's favorite. Yeah. We realized so that messy. Maisie is just a female copy of my father. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know my dad could dance. Oh. Um, and I wasn't expecting a lot from these, but I, I like these. All right, we're okay. going to find my, my favorite snack as a young man coming home from school was a mini donut. Mm. I love one single mini donut. No, no, I'd have like two, oh, okay. two or three. You know, like with a little glass of milk or, you know. Oh, we, we would go get the jumbo tea. little Debbies from okay, the Okay, smells gas really station. good. All right. You know, they have the chocolate covered ones, the cinnamon crunchy ones. The, it tastes like a honey bun. bun. So it looks, yeah, it kind of looks. Go. Oh, it is a honey bun. Oh, oh, you guys do oh it. damn. Damn it. It's honey bun flavored donuts. They nailed it. Dude, a honey <laughs> bun donut is <laughs> GD <laughs> awesome. <laughs> yeah. Damn, honey bun donut. <laughs> this is way better than running. <laughs> now I get it. Man, that's a lot of sugar. I think they're better yeah. than honey buns because honey buns to me this always taste br- too bready. And it's too much. Like, mm-hmm. this is like you have a couple of these with coffee. That's not bad. Mm hmm. John, that's good. Well, that's... we moved fast on that one. All right, cool. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. no, I'm still going to talk about it. I like that one. Now, I... what's your favorite brand of miniature donut? Because there's there's many out there, and Intimans. my dad's my dad's oh. favorite was a, a brand that I loved because the packaging. It has very iconic packaging, and it bothered me when they changed and updated the packaging. Mm-hmm. And I believe the ones that I liked were made by Merida. And they were Morita's Sweet 16 Powdered hmm. Donuts. That was the name of it. I don't know the, that one. Yeah. It, was, it just said Sweet 16s. And they, that was Hostess. Or was it Hostess? Well, the packaging, though, was, was like different, nerdy 1950s white kids <laughs> that look like Leave It the Beaver, like dancing. <laughs> ah. They're always like dancing. And then they updated the packaging at one point where the people weren't like in the 50s anymore. They were like, uh, I have a phone. And you're like, driving oh, an yeah. automobile. You know, <laughs> okay, it was like they changed yeah. it and I hated it. And so did my <laughs> oh, dad. Oh, now it's Hostess. It was Marita. Now it's Hostess. Oh, wow. I'm showing my old man. Yeah, I was a Marita. Sweet 16, that was the brand. Like, if we went to the store, if mm-hmm. I went with my dad, and we were looking for mini donuts because we wanted to watch Dusty Rhodes on NWA wrestling. <laughs> we're going to watch wrestling and eat donuts. If they didn't have Sweet 16s, we'd go to different stores until my dad could track down Sweet oh, yeah. 16s because they had the most powder on them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He and, was convinced of that. And also, there's something uh, very depressing after you're like you're popping in a couple donuts, and then you're like, "Well, how many did I eat?" Don't look! Don't look! <laughs> oh, yeah, no, yeah. no, no, you and, can't look at these ever. It's only three donuts. I know this by heart. It's three donuts, and I think it's like 360 calories for three donuts. Yeah, I feel and, like it's more than that. And then you look at the back, and you're like, "Oh, saturated uh, fat, eight grams of <laughs> donut." It's you know 230 calories. That must be for like five or six donuts. It's <laughs> no, <laughs> no, like no, two it's not, yeah. or one. It's like one and a half. You? Like sweet sixteen <laughs> yeah, yeah. donuts are some of the. These aren't sweet six, sweet sixteens, but the sweet sixteens were more calorically dense than almost any food I'd ever had. The so he was correct. Fat. Serving size is three. Yeah, okay. Do- donuts. Donuts. Um, how many calories for three donuts? Oh. You were pretty close, Dan. I think I went over though, and I saw the back. So, okay. oh, but okay. I, I I went a little high. What'd you say? Three sixty. Oh, I was gonna go two seventy. Two forty. Yeah. Okay. So not that bad. Yeah, but still. Uh, but for- total sugars. How many grams of sugar? Oh, it's got to be seven. In three donuts. In three? Oh, uh, 32. Uh, Maybe 20? 17. So not that bad compared to what you guys thought. It's not that bad. How much saturated fat, though? That's how they get you. Mm. Let's see. Saturated yeah, fat, 29%, 6 grams. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's so well, much. Here's the problem. I had 12 donuts. Right. <laughs> I, I didn't have dude, three. Dude. Who, has got th- who has the willpower to have three? Mm. I, I, I do. I'm weird like that. My husband is like thinks that I'm a psychopath. I can't like, do that. I can have like one cookie. No. Yeah. I one? A, yeah. I ate an entire bag I can of have sweet one, one time. I can have one mini Reese's cup and be fine. Oh, Christ. No, yeah, no. I'm, well, yeah, I'm weird. You eat one and you're like, I've ruined it. I'll have to eat them all. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's the best feeling. When you have, like, I have to eat the whole okay, sleeve. So one and do- binge it. I, and this, then I'm mad as I cry. This is how I do it. 
do it. I do one donut, and then I do like I do two more because I'm like I, I do one, and I'm like you're doing great. I'm like no, I might as well go a serving. So then I do two uh, more. You talk yourself so that's into the three, serving. and I'm like you did a serving. Yeah. That's proper. I'm like let's have two servings. That's okay. And then I have two servings, and I'm like eat the bag. Then I start <laughs> destroying the kitchen like the way, <laughs> and I start cry eating everything. And then it's was he uh, hard to watch. it and eating? <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He was eating Destroy everything. Eating. So he was eating the pizza folded with the peanut. He started, started uh, cry oh. eating everything, yeah, yeah. and it was like. Uh, but did he get mad that he ruined any of his stuff that he could have eaten in the future? Right. Well, he ate it all. <laughs> he ate Nothing left? No, yeah, he ate everything and he could, he could possibly eat. Anyway, that, and then he cried. What did you think? Of, what did you, John, what did you think <laughs> of the ending? Did you think? I never he, saw the whale. Oh, did oh, you? What? Oh, my God. You got to see the whale, man. It's on Blu ray. Next time, hey, John, next time you're here, man. let's watch the whale with John next yes. time. Yes, while we snack. While we'll 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 snack. Watch the whole we'll eat whale. Snack, watch snack the, whale. the whole time. Because I was going to ask you about the ending if you think he's act, if he actually gets up and walks or if he dies. Uh, yeah. But I think he died. We got we got limited time. Oh, so we'll oh, get oh, to the last. Well, it, was a, it was a play. You remember Michael Wanzi did it here in town. Oh, he did. Yeah, oh, Wanzi was that. a whale. <laughs> <laughs> we have a local we whale talk. with a lot of padding. Oh, we yeah. got to talk to Wanzi about the whale. <laughs> oh yeah, we absolutely do. Okay, these right, are. We got some peeps. Oh yeah, and yeah, they're well, red. Easter time. Easter time's coming. All right, we got peeps in here. I did not bring. This seemed really dangerous. I was in of all places. Um... Oh, no, I just blanked on the name of the place. There you are. Uh, Describe it. Uh, Woodshed. The, 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 <laughs> the place that's not Jay-Z Penny's and not Sears. Burdines. Oh, uh, I Bell wish. Macy's. Uh, no. Dillard's. Nope. Nordstrom. <laughs> TJ Maxx. Sears. Wait, I'm you said Sears. Yeah. Hold on. Oh, what are you doing? We're going to get it. Kmart. <laughs> oh, put, put the whale on it. It's Kmart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what other... Uh, it's, it's like... Anyways, uh, it's, uh, it'll come to us, but it's all closed, but they had like this little Easter section, and they had... Target. Uh, no, no, it, shoot. Coles. 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 Yeah! Coles. Yeah! Coles. 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 Oh, man. Jack They had the, like, the Easter grass you put in a basket, but you could eat it. No, oh, oh, really. Edible, edible Easter. Yeah, that, like, I, I didn't buy sense. it because I don't know what it tastes like. But it's, I'm going to make my but the, problem with that, the, problem that, the problem with that is a kid eats it once, and then they're going to think they can eat it all the time. Well, and be a parent and watch your goddamn kids so they don't eat grass. <laughs> I'll uh, use the same idea with pubes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so these are red peeps. All right, what no. do you guys got here? Looks looks like it might be something. I'm having so much fun, I just ate the peep, and I forgot to, <laughs> to figure out what flavor it is. <laughs> what is that? Little mouth sounds for everybody. I got morning. it. Mm-hmm. I think I got this one. Is that to your wine? No, but you're on the right track. Dr. Oh. Pepper. Dr. Pepper. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. okay. I knew it. It's that so... It's, White. I can barely. It's good. Mm. That one's good. Yeah, yeah. It's a dusting of pepper. So we're talking about what is the flavor of Dr. Pepper? Isn't it 32 flavors? Yeah, it it's, it's a million things. I looked at there's it like, cherry, like cherry one almond, raspberry. Some people say prune is in there. Oh. It tastes a little poisony. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. John, I'm you know? feeling it tastes sleepy. A little bit. John, what? Well, it's probably the, what, that'd, be, covered, that'd be the almond. John's covered me arsenic. in edible Easter grass. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> like it tastes like like the cherry tastes kind Excuse of medicine, like, or like the black cherry. Is little medicine. Well, I know, well, that's why some people don't like Dr. Pepper because they think it tastes like medicine. Yeah, right, right. yeah. and but root beer. Most people are like, you know what? I'm sick of hearing people say. And if one person, if one more person says it to me, I'm just going to crank them in the face. <laughs> if they're like, Dr. 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 Pepper is the only one that tastes good. <laughs> if I hear one more person say that, I'm just going to slap your. I'm going to open hand slap your face. <laughs> Well, John, um, I think we got to go, right? Yes, we uh, did. You got another uh, one? Oh, oh, my God. Oh, yeah, yeah. he's like, ah, oh, you didn't eat all the poison. <laughs> one more? Yeah. Is there a foul game? We'll right, walk more. it through one from one. There's only one more Eastery thing, jelly beans. All right. There's always the weirdo flavored yeah, jelly beans. I this is the one that it tastes like boogers. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I like that. The Harry Potter Charles one. Charles coming in here. I like they vomit just... jelly beans. Yeah. yeah. I like what happened? John came in. He fed us booger jelly beans again. <laughs> all right. I'll give you a hint on this one. Multicolors. They all taste the same. Okay. All right. I got so it. All the same flavor. Hold on. Let me there taste you. one. Here. Well, I got that one. That's easy. No. They nailed it. Lemonhead. No. Do you know? I know. I'm My mouth is no. I'm going to win this game. The it's, fact that it's like a bunch of colors and it's they all fruit taste loops. the same. Yeah, it's Fruit Loops. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it is. Dude, it it's is 100%. And I know they all, because like, Maisie asked me, she's like, I got so much enjoyment out of saying this, and I know we got to go, but Maisie was Man. like, the purple Fruit Loops taste like grape. And I'm like, no, they don't. They're all the same flavor, you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> you are the king of trash. I am. <laughs> You're yeah. the king of trash and yeah. gags. Yeah, yeah, I spent a You're lot of trash. Yeah. <laughs> 
I spent a lot of time in Walmart. Um, John, thanks so much yeah, for coming over. I love this bit. Thanks for cool. coming in, buddy. That guy on TV.com. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, that guy on TV.com if you want to contact John for anything. Yeah. And we'll see you again soon. We appreciate it. We'll do. Um, we will see you tomorrow. Welcome to a Corporate Time with Tom and Dan. I'm Tom. I am Dan. Samantha, our producer's here. Hello, Sam. Hello. Oh, my God. Dan. Oh, wow. Wow, already yeah, cut my mic know, off. Know, we haven't talked about know, it on that's ACT a pre, yet. That's a precursor. Yeah, yeah. That's a pre, I just I'm trying to get into new workflows and uh, a big. Won't piece need of, this mic. Yeah, <laughs> there's a tape here that says uh, <laughs> "get to me." Off, uh, says "get to me" on the. No, uh, uh, I'm sorry about that. Um, and oh, if still you, here. Yeah, so the Sam's last week. It is. Uh, we talked all about it on the BDM show. Uh, so, so go find out why on the BDM show. Yeah. Uh, I mean, um, so and, can we tell you? I don't think we'd probably be better if we didn't talk about it. And yeah. uh, we'll talk about it this Friday, or actually this Thursday. We're doing the Friday Free Show uh, one day early Everything's this week. very confusing. Yeah. We uh, confuse everybody. Yeah. We do Fridays and Thursdays. And guess what? Next week, I will be on the shows for <laughs> yeah, spring break, because yeah. we pre-recorded those shows. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, but uh, good luck keeping track. Here's what's not confusing. We're doing a live... Oh, what is it kind of confusing? I was going to say, <laughs> <laughs> very confusing. <laughs> We're doing a live in person. We don't do anything at the, easy. At the Ritz Theater in Sanford, May 31st, and it will also be broadcast live on Terrestrial Radio. Yeah, it's going to be live on Real Radio, so you can check that out. And tickets are for sale right now yep. at TomAndDan.com. It's at the Ritz Theater in Sanford or the Wayne Dinch Theater. Um, there's uh, half are sold out already. So well, we're but celebrating. That's crazy. We still have 200 tickets left. It's cool to be able to celebrate 10 years of a corporate time with Tom and Dan. I had forgotten that we had even been doing the radio show component of our podcast for that long. It's crazy. Yeah, it's Snuck up on on me, like, yeah, you know, sure. like all of a sudden. Oh, everything sneaks up on me. I don't have a concept of time or like, memories. Me and Daniel, we were talking about this at the end of the last year. We were like, hold on, twenty twenty four. Didn't we start a corporate time in two thousand fourteen? And then we were trying to figure it out. It was like, oh, we started it after I left. Like a couple months, and I was like, "It all comes then, together, man." It's really hard to remember that. Then we had to go back and find the dates in Lipson for yeah. uh, the podcast, but we remembered. Dana remembered, and I was like, "Wait a minute, these dates are 20, uh 16, and we were like, we uploaded them all in a bulk." Yeah, we years later, there was a problem with the. They didn't have a corporate time with Tom and Dan on iHeart. I don't know if that was by design, but in the beginning, you know, it wasn't as sophisticated. The iHeart Media website wasn't sophisticated with every podcast known to man on it like it is now. And I had to actually go and upload. It took me like a whole Saturday. It's like hundreds of files I put in there. You know, this has happened to me a lot in my life where I'll start something or make a decision, but I'll think to myself like, oh, whatever, this will be done, you know. It fast. Yeah. <laughs> the next yeah, thing yeah. you know, it's like, oh my god, I'm it's, stuck. it's yeah. gone on for a decade or yeah. like a long, like whatever decision I made. All of a sudden, time goes by, and you're like, you turn around, you're like, oh my god, we've been doing this for eight years yeah. or whatever it is. It's like batteries in a TV remote. It's like they <laughs> lasted longer than we thought they would. Yeah, yeah. And I feel really getting our value out of this. You, you just forget that uh, sometimes you make a decision and then uh, it just goes on forever. Yeah, um, nothing can be done. But this no will end. Stop it. This will end. But <laughs> this no, I can't go on. That's that why much we're money. doing the live show. Uh, I mean, Sam's already out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, that's not a good sign. It's certainly not a good sign. Anyway. We would love ten to years. See I'm done. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's I put a good. In my, yeah. I put in my decade with with ACT. That's kind of how I right. feel about marriage. It's like I did ten years with with Andrea. We had a kid. It's should, great. And then yeah. I should be able to Every be like. Every decade you gotta do. Something and then different. Uh, this, yeah. I'm gonna do a single decade. This thing, this like <laughs> this decade is gonna be a crazy single dad. Yeah, yeah. People should change up uh, their lives every yeah. X amount of so years. Some say change, others tear them apart, tear their families <laughs> apart is another way of putting it. So let's do some emails. Yes. All right. Show <laughs> at TomAndDan.com if you want to send us emails. This one says, hey, T and D crew, I'm an Android user and listen to the pod through Google Podcasts, <laughs> but that app is being replaced by YouTube Music. I searched and couldn't find you guys on there. Uh, April 24 is supposed to be the migration date, so you guys might want to investigate how to get on YouTube Music so you don't lose listeners like me. Love the show and plan on visiting some cool spots in Orlando you guys represent on my next trip down in a few months. Um, I thought uh, I thought we were on YouTube Music. We might want to double check. I don't know. Because I remember I you telling me yeah. that All right. we're on like YouTube Podcasts, right? Uh, yeah. Something like version of that. Yeah. Um... I know that if you go to YouTube and if you have a YouTube account and you search under YouTube podcasts that you will find 
a uh, playlist labeled Tom and Dan or a Mediocre Time Streams. And it's every it's it's basically our YouTube channel. Okay, so but it's don't. podcast. You can also download the Tom and Dan app yep. if you want. It works a lot better now. I think if you so. haven't used it in a while. Yep. Yeah, all Thanks of our, to our friend, oh, Mister Coop- Matt Fred at Gmail dot com. Coopo yep. J in our Twitch chat room. Thank you, Coopo, for doing this. He just checked, and yes, we are in fact on nice. YouTube Music. So maybe we fixed your problem. But I know. Yeah, I've been working on keeping us up to date on everything for a very long time. Yeah, Daniel's constantly on top of like, oh, this change, this, uh, you know, like if it was up to me, I don't know what we're on. I was oh, doing something this morning. morning. No, I was doing yeah, yeah. some of that this morning. And then people ask me like, how do I find your podcast? I was like, you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I like that answer. I support I'm like, that. I'm like, how Is that you, your standard answer? How do you, you find you just go like, what? Like, how do you find anything? You just go to Google and you type in... Tom and Dan. Yeah, and it, it'll pop up. Sam, it, have you tried you that? You can find anything. Go to Google, just type yeah. in Tom and Dan. Okay. I can find see. anything. <laughs> like, <laughs> ask me uh, whatever I First need to find. First thing pops up. It's just now, on there. I wonder, though... Uh, much like our rhythms on social media, is our Google rhythm different? So if someone who has never listened to Tom and Dan, never heard of Tom and Dan, if they just put oh, Tom and Dan question. in Google, will you guys be the first thing that pops up? I don't know. I don't is know. it regional? Is right. it national? Is it my computer, my phone? I don't know. I think if you search specifically a mediocre time with Tom and Dan, yes, if then that, But if you just put Tom and Dan... I know if you just put yes, Tom and Dan Google in Google. Google search is it, rhythmed, we are being told. Yes. Yeah, but but if, even if... With, so just ne- put Tom and Dan podcast, and that should be the first thing. Yeah, yeah. Up, right? And I, I think we've had enough hits that if you just put Tom and Dan and you never search that in Google, like Tom and Jerry will pop up. For, and then like yeah. Tom and <laughs> yeah, Dan, Tom and Jerry. the Minecraft kids yeah, maybe yeah. pop up. Yeah. The little British kids. Yeah, yeah. but the we Twitch will be kids. on the first page for sure. We have the most British first names <laughs> for sure. Uh, Tom and Dan. Tom uh, and Dan. Minecraft. Uh, next email. To a corporate time, howdy, Tom, Dan, Sam, and possible other person. How would you react to someone saying, promise me you won't get mad, before explaining their mistake? I can't imagine this phrase ever having a kind or humble outcome. So when someone starts out a sentence with, hey, promise me you won't get mad. I usually don't think think too much of it because I assume that it's going to be a joke. Because most people know me well enough to know that if you're saying that, like I have a temper, right? Mm-hmm. So, you know what I mean? Like, I mean, Andrea yeah, would yeah. never say that to me because she knows who I am. It, I can see myself saying it to one of you guys or to Andrea because I like jokes, but how would I react? You also, you're telling that. I brace myself for the worst. <laughs> I'm yeah, like, but oh, that's God. your personality yeah. style, yeah. I think. But that, that's also, that there's a psychological trick. And I can't make that promise because I don't know what's about to come out of your mouth. Right, yeah. right. That's fair. There is a psychological trick where, like, you know, like you want the good news or the bad news. Right. You know? So because your mind will I- immediately go worse. Go, to wor- what, yes. go worse. So then when you hear the bad yeah. news, it's better than you thought. Right. So there, Except you, when I told you I was quitting. <laughs> 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 although, although when you said closed door meeting, it was either quit or sued. <laughs> that, yeah, that was yeah. A, that was the Where did I saw quit? Your eyes were like, oh, "Where thank did God. you go first? Because I went suit <laughs> and I was sweating bullets. No, no, because the lawsuit, I realized, would have enough money. Like, there's no lawyer in the right mind that I'd would be take screwed. it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they immediately also do. hard when we both have the same lawyer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That but would be weird. This is what saved Corolla when the patent trolls were suing him. Is that all? That the whole thing that he went through all this trouble and this huge like trying to mount a defense. Remember, we we were even supporting it for a while when we interviewed him. We we were going to end up doing a like an like uh, an event or a podcast or something. Just, yeah, because they thought it was going after all podcasts. But uh, what stopped all that is a legal discovery. And as soon as they it, like you know they started the lawsuit and then they started with discovery. And part of discovery is like you like them like opening up what your assets and how much money you have. And as soon as they found out that they dropped everything because they realized they're like, oh, this is not Sony or some no, iHeart or whatever. Is, uh, Jerry's television <laughs> repair podcast. But even though Corolla was making millions podcasting, but he was also spending a lot, so he doesn't have a bunch of assets you could take. You well, know, he's also saying? like one of one. Everybody else that they've fingered, yeah. you know, were not wealthy podcasters. And so the amount of money they were going to be able to get was nominal compared to a giant 
uh, corporations that they just gave up. Right. And they, they, they want to sue Walmart. They don't want to sue Corolla or some, uh, you know. Even- you know, I never look at Walmart trucks the same now <laughs> after the Tracy Morgan really? thing. If I'm driving. Do you hope to get hit? No, oh. I don't hope that on anybody. But when I see them, I go, oh, there it is. Every time I see one, I'm like, Walmart truck. Come yeah. and get you. No amount of money is worth Getting like, hurt. being no. effed up for the rest of your life or being in pain or whatever. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, no matter what the billboards you, say, I'm okay the way I am. <laughs> you think, but you you see the billboard, you're like, those people look great. Uh, yeah. <laughs> they're, they're, Do they? They're, yeah. <laughs> they're smiling through know. the pain. Most of them, I can see the pain, I think. <laughs> you can't get that type of money unless something horrible happened to yeah. you. I'm just yeah, telling you real, how it works. There's so much Ask sadness Mo. behind those billboards. Uh, anyway. What else you got over there? All right. We have from our buddy Joey Mazant, kids on iPads. Hey fam, it's Joey. I'm listening to a corporate time and you're talking about the life hack that is giving the iPad to the kid to keep them chill. Being that I don't have them or not and I'm not ever having children, I never knew how insanely obsessed with screen time that children can get. I'm at work at a popular theme park destination and I'm waiting for one of the many stage performances to start. There's a guy sitting a couple seats over from me, and he's staring at his phone. He's likely killing time until the show starts or texting whatever to whoever. It turns out he's watching something very adult. I don't know how vulgar it was being. I couldn't see what was on his phone. However, the two children behind him could see it. They were maybe eight or nine. They are crazy laser focused staring at a screen. And after a couple of seconds, the dad in the family yells. Or some dad watching porno at the theme park? What a... uh, (laughs) That happens. That's bad. People do it at uh, fast food places. Uh, It says, wow, (laughs) the F are you watching? My children are watching your phone. I'm like, oh no, no joke. Confrontation imminent. This dude puts his phone down, slowly turns around and says, maybe your goddamn kids should mind their own effing business. Why is the point? He then turns around, opens his phone back up and starts looking at it again. I'm going to look at X videos whether they like it or not. I'm American. The craziest thing is, the second he said this, like six people around him started clapping. The dad took his kids and they left. 14 years of doing this job. Oh, a group and, of perverts outmuscled a dad who was offended? And this is the first time I witnessed a crowd turn on a dad like that. It's mad freaking Max. Wait, so the guy that was watching the porno stood his ground We don't know said, if it was porno. Uh, let's just say it is. So the guy. It could have been him literally scrolling his Instagram and asses were bouncing around. That happens. So Sometimes guys, I'm scrolling and, yeah. at a theme park and something pops up and I gotta exit I out. I get that with Maisie all the time. I told you guys I but had I to agree, eliminate... But I agree. Don't have your kids looking at my goddamn phone. I had to take all of the... Even the girls that we've uh, interviewed Viewed on the show or anybody that we like is a model or any of that. I took them all off of my you Instagram because Maisie sees that. Yeah, well, here's the problem with like, oh, mind your business, don't look at my phone. You're holding a tiny TV. <laughs> yeah. you know? I would like, never do it in a setting like this because I see this happen all the time. I see it at the movies. I see it at sports events. I, I porno? literally not porno. No. Well, it could be right or like people on Tinder like swiping. Damn. And people don't give a damn. People will watch people zooming in on T's and A's on Instagram at places and like people right behind you can see what's on your screen. I saw a couple sitting in front of me that were zooming in with their phone on the guy in front of him's phone to read their conversation. So just be mindful no. when you're Yeah. So just be mindful when you're out looking at your phone. People will try and look at your screen. I did see the one where it's like it's it, it, I thought it was a setup, but it was like a redneck guy. Like he looked like he was staged as a redneck guy. He mm-hmm. had his phone out uh. and he had his font like the biggest font ever and you like it's being filmed, and you like zoom in, and you can. The, the person is obviously filming him typing something, and it looks like he's texting, and he's writing like the most racist things ever. And they're like the person's like video, and I'm like, that's a, obviously a setup yeah, because yeah, the yeah. font level is like it's like level seventy font, <laughs> like an A is yeah. like two inches tall. A lot of those things yeah. are you know set just up just trying to get just trying to get the clicks, get I, it in the get it in the algorithm. I will tell you this has happened to me on airplanes. Porno? You were watching porno? When I'm not no. That happens. I've seen it. I know not when I'm watching porno, but I have been watching a rated R movie right. on a plane that has a sex scene in it. Oh yeah. my god. You you know, know, there was something that Trav and I watched <laughs> too. There was something that Trav and I watched too, and there yeah. was a scene that I was like, uh oh. And where well, you're gonna watch on a plane. you're gonna watch salt burn on the plane. Yeah, yeah. but in ding the dong sky. dancing. Yeah, if there if is a grave in the sky, should you uh, alter your choice if there is a child sitting next to you in a plane? Um, yes, you should. 
I mean, if you're a nice person, I feel like it's not a big deal. I would like if I'm sitting here next to me as a as a young lad flying to London alone to see his mummy and daddy, and I just happen to be flying alone, and I'm going to watch something. Yeah. So I now think, you can only watch PG-13. Well, or... I mean, you know, just you, <clears throat> you, there's plenty of other stuff to watch. I mean, it's a nice gesture, right? <laughs> yeah, but it, the, I've never heard of that. Faux pas being on a plane before, like me she, neither. Like you can't watch a rated R movie if you've got any. You don't. Yeah, I mean, you can do whatever you want. I think it's more of a moral question. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I'm saying I would do it, but because no one's it's ever just a t- nice thing to do. But have you ever experienced? No, that? no, I have. I watch you anything have? I want of see, of watching a rated R or having other people around me watch a rated oh, R. Oh, just like not you. You're like I can't watch this rated R movie. One hundred percent. There's a kid next to yeah. me. Yeah, I choose. Uh, I will choose not to watch something that I think is going to be inappropriate in a public space. I do. But what if you don't know what's in the movie? It's no, that's a new what movie. I'm saying. That I can't help. Uh, and it just pops up I, like I'm I, watching a movie. I and purposefully then... look at the ratings though. I'm that weirdo that looks. But I'm more for like gore and and stuff like that because I just can't watch that it. It happens stuff. with the kid all the time if i'm watching a, a youtube show like i was watching tom segura talk about something yesterday and i was just sitting there watching and i didn't know what he was talking about but then he went on this whole diatribe about like really really adult gross things yeah yeah and Maisie was standing right there and i was like oh gotta move it and i just i just left it i just went to something else yeah, yeah, yeah. i didn't like power through because it's my right which no. is like i guess the question is if you were on a plane would you would you offer that up to be Nice. Would you do the thing that you think is the nicer thing to do for the kids? Because you could see my screen through the uh, yeah. through, through in between the chairs, in yeah. between the chairs Absolutely. in the background. Oh, that That's doesn't the matter. Not between the no. So do I not no. watch a regular movie because the kids from behind no. me can you, see again? You can do whatever you want. I would. I would not. So that, but see, I've never I, heard anybody like looking at making sure there's if no they're kids. No, you. I, only if yeah. they're beside you. I'm not. I'm not changing <laughs> what I'm watching because they're going to be spying through the crack. They're not supposed to be doing that anyway. Yeah, well, Get they're not supposed to be kicking their goddamn little legs and feet in between the chairs either. <laughs> yeah, but they do that, they, so you know, goddamn well, they're sticking yeah. their heads through because because they're trying e- to see some boobies. <laughs> because <laughs> probably e- I've seen even like two rows in front of me. Uh, on the aisle, you could see that person's screen. So even if you're two rows back, if I'm on the aisle on the right, yeah. two rows on the left, like oh, yeah. I could see people. But screens, I think you're okay. And, uh, but I you also, could see nudity, there was, uh, and no one ever, no one ever no. brings it up in uh, on planes. It's not a like, thing. I'm sure my son. People don't talk it. about it, but people are thinking about it. Are Some they? of the yeah. grossest nudity I ever saw was like the first cruise I went on. I remember I went back to the bedroom or something my parents are going out to the midnight buffet or whatever so i went back and they tucked me in and i turned on the tv and it was just porno crazy and i remember thinking this is the greatest crew this is the greatest <laughs> night of my life <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, my parents had left me it was unlimited porno i'm in a bunk bed i'm like this is the it, i turned the air as cold as it would go it's back when cruises would have a channel like an adult oh channel, yeah right? they would just roll let it roll nice. cruises used to be when you because it was always like you yeah. know the three miles out there was no doubt <laughs> like, <laughs> Cruises used to be like that too. Where yeah. like as soon as they got on a board, they had a topless like, deck, dude. We've got a topless deck. We got adult channels in here. Yeah. Gambling, what do you want? Yeah. 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 I'm excited uh, for my uh, semantics cruise. It's yeah. adults yeah. only. Who uh, knows yeah. what's going to go on there? They don't do that as much anymore. No, the topless decks are. They might on they, that. There's no. a couple that still have topless, decks. but it's no. it's definitely not at they, where it was. They don't have the adult Less channels. <laughs> yeah, I don't think they have adult channels anymore. No. They yeah. might on an adults only cruise. Maybe you have to pay for. No, I don't think they have any like. This was straight up like softcore porno. Remember when you'd have to order the yeah. porno from the <laughs> yes. front desk? Yeah. <laughs> like, you yeah, have to I call. call in. And yes. like, I would like to uh, rent. Yes. Uh, I had you'd a have friend. to tell an old lady or an old man that you were about the to do it. The Gulf of Mexico. I had a friend that, ha- that we he called up and he ordered the Predator that has Danny Glover in it. We are on a soccer trip. Okay. What right. movie is the Predator? It's Predator, but it's, it's Predator the one. Two. It's the one. With, okay, so he ordered Predator Two for the front desk. Oh. Yeah, Predator Two, and 1990. Then, okay, so 1990. I was on a soccer trip, and then they ordered. Oh, Gary Busey's in that. They also ordered a porno, and then the, one of the dads of oh, the chaperone of the trip found out that we'd ordered a porno. Okay. We so we watched Predator. We're like, oh, this is great. All right, time to go to bed. And then the dads went into their room, and then the kid, the one kid, I think his name was Kevin. Kevin was like, hey. I also ordered a porno. It comes on at nine because you had to catch it at the time. Yeah, because it was yeah because it, it, it only I am. it only yes. he scrambled the, yes. the uh, channel. So we started but it's set to play at yeah, night. Set to play at night. So we watched Predator Two, starring Danny Glover, <laughs> at seven thirty <laughs> or seven, right? And then it rolled through, and then we're like, and then boom, nine rolls around. We want the dads to go. The dads go to their room, and then we're like, we put it on. Oh my god. 
Amazing. <laughs> Coming of age story. Oh. That's how you become a man, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, uh, let's do another email. Uh, hey, Dan, I just wanted to share a tie-in to the show. I was listening to a podcast called Smart List with Jason Bateman, Will Arnett, and Sean Hayes. They interviewed Arnold Schwarzenegger recently, and he works out at Gold's Gym. They asked him why, and he said he's a, quote, company queen and does nothing alone. He, inf- he finds encouragement from seeing others working out and likes to be around other people always. He enjoys the company. Interesting perspective, I guess based on the Shaq hot tub conversation. Anyway... Happy days, Carla. Yeah. Um, for, okay, so this is one of many emails. I got smaller versions of that. That was the best one. But a lot of different guys say that, like... Well, it's like Tom. He needs to know other people are having fun to have fun. He needs to be around other people working out to work out. Or, right? like, or businessy. Like, I like being around here because it's mine. Okay, yeah, You know, yeah. like, like, Shaq likes Does being Does he at, own Gold's No, gym? but I know he's, like, a fitness guy. You know, like, I think, like, it's just whatever you're comfortable with, I feel like. Yeah, he may own a piece of it. Who knows? You know, like, some Because, like, are, why specifically Gold's Gym? Well, that is how he made his original um, money. Remember from the book, he got into not only the machines, but the magazines. Yeah, yeah, And yeah. stuff Who, like yeah. that. I'm sure he, he's got a ton of money in different places. Oh, in he's business. in the Gold Gym's Hall of Fame. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, you know, there's also, if you're not a afraid to tell annoying people to get the hell away from you. <laughs> okay, all right. Then you, then you do got you it. want to say that? Because the way I that you smiled when you said that. But no, do you, is that something you want to be able to do? Yeah, I can't do it. I'll never be able to do it. So there, there, it's my own prison. Uh, oh, my God. Write that down. My own prison. Creed. Where, because if someone, like, because... Our, I just want to tell everybody to get away from me. Because think about it. If you're Arnold and you're working out at Gold Gym, then everybody's taking pictures of you. Everybody's going up to you to try to get business loans. So yeah. you, just, you, you get tips. Can I get a selfie? Can I get a picture? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So then, sure, sure. Absolutely. So they I, also shot Pumping Iron in 1960. 75 at Gold's Gym. Milk is for babies. Or do they leave him alone because they're I think they leave him out. alone, dude. He gives off he gives off what you no, want. people are horrible. No, no. People leave him alone. You What you want is you want to be able to give off that air, the leave me alone air. They're, and he can do it. Too big too big to be bothered. Shaq has it. But they're bothering him, right? They have to you be. You know who else had it? Who's that? You, you know who else had people? it? And I hate to say it. Old uh, Tim Tebow had it. Where no, you're, you're so popular, him. people don't bother you, or something. Like, it's a thing. I bet Arnold comes and goes, no problem. Carrot Top has it. Carrot Top has it. Okay, well, uh, Dave Chappelle... Dave Chappelle has ta- it. But he has this in a small town that everybody knows him. So, but if he goes to L.A., he's going to be bothered to no end. You know what I'm saying? He, so he's got it in Ohio because it's a small town. Everybody, Everybody's used to it. They're like, oh, Dave Chappelle. But, so, but Arnold in some random gold gym is going to be surrounded and bothered, and people are going to be videotaping him from every angle. And you I don't know, know if they, they notice him. Is he going to... What? I don't know if they notice him. You you see Arnold. I know. But He's I the just, most recognizable figure in our hat. world. Does he like, yeah, try to change his appearance? Yeah, no, but, like, you see I, it. but think of the things that you, that you don't see around here all the time. Like, I, like if anybody wouldn't see Arnold, it'd be you. You go into Gold's Gym, you run on the treadmill, he's over in the corner. He just looks like an old man now. Yeah, but uh, the other, I go to gyms and everybody there is doing nothing. They're, they're, they're uh, they on walk their, around. They're on their phone. They're there for like social hour. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, no, no one's working at all. to work. You're a bunch of Babies and you're not lifting any weight. It's I a, go there. When I go to the gym, I go to work out. It's a thing that people just go and wander around yeah. the gym and do little things here and there. And they're like, Yeah, it's been a cliche for yeah, years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so those people are bothering Arnold if they see him. Uh, because also, I the, don't know. I don't think the, so. The gym has a lot of crazy people. I think he gives off an upper level air that, and he's also like, approachable so i think that for me because i would like so i'm just going to use your example what would i do if i saw him well initially i would want to run up to him and be like arnold let's get a photo i love your book but i probably wouldn't because i'd run the numbers and be like ah he just wants to be left alone i'll just let him do his thing and maybe catch him on the way out yeah yeah because you're a sane person okay i'm telling you there are it was all a trick to get you to say that it was all a trick just to get you to say that that's Finally. the only time I'll ever say that. I need the time code. That's to show you how insane the gym people are. <laughs> I see them. They're people that are dressed weird like, and then have I bags say, of Cadillac garbage. Pat, like, Pat, is Cadillac a crazy Pat gym person. is a gold gym guy. If he saw Schwarzenegger, I think he would say that.
way something. Yeah, like. he's, he's bothering. A, but he also loves the '90s, so he'd be yeah. like, "Oh my god, he, yeah. might, he might die." It implode. Yeah, yeah, he might explode. Cadillac Pat is showing him the, his Homer Simpson watch and something oh, to yeah. care about. Oh, you know? wow. <laughs> Did you get all of those from Burger King? But how could he in, like enjoy that that amount okay. of just harassment? Okay, can I give you my answer now? I don't think he I finds it as harassment. <laughs> There's people that like their fame. If he didn't, he wouldn't go out to the gym. You're like right. This. You was there I mean? an element of when you they would like go, people coming up to them, not making jokes? Was there an element ever that when you would go and you were getting a little bit of like fame from doing the radio and thing, and people were coming up and oh, and, I liked and, it. Did you like it? Yeah, yeah, but I don't get it. Be, Arnold's a different. Like, obviously, he is in a level uh, that's a hundred. I think times. it's the top level. Right? You can't even under. You, you can't even comprehend. It's legendary like, level. You know, when when one person uh, at the Smile Mile is a BDM's like, "Hey Tom, how's it going? Uh, good to see you. I love the show." And then I'm like, oh, I like that. You know, yeah, of course yeah. I like that because it's like, that's their customer. It's like, yeah, yeah. And then it's like, then I show my sons. I'm like, see, uh, I told you. See, dad's got the <laughs> But Arnold would have every crazy person video. To, like, you know, like. They, Sign my wart. They're all, they're oh, like, well, oh, my. It's his gold's gem, right? So people probably are used to him being there. You have to be a member to go Maybe in. Maybe that's the case. Do you think yeah. he ever says anything? Like, hey, man, get away from me. You're so weird. But that's why. think I, he spots people? I didn't understand, I like, when Shaq is sitting in the hot tub and then there's well, all the people in the hot tub. he's doing that, too. Because he's in tiny this, little though. dukes showing his I, big old Shaq. I told yeah. you my story. We were in Specs Music next to Stetson University. The magic we're using, I believe it was called Edmund Center at the time, to practice because they were getting a facility like redone or something so and it was a nice place for them to do like training and uh and Shaq walks into the music store and then they lock the doors and he's just kindly at- talking to everybody he said I'll buy everybody's music I just want to shop and he was relatively left alone it wasn't a crazy mob scene you're right yeah, it yeah. was it, he everybody kind of it maybe was like, he's uh, right the level below mob and because of his stature, that they do treat some him differently. People, and some people because, are scared to approach certain high-level celebrities of like, oh, I don't want to bother them. I get that a lot in Orlando. Maybe, people are very scared of my celebrity. Maybe yeah, they, it yeah. depends on the amount of level of respect. That True. They, because like, if you see Justin Bieber, have you ever seen like on the streets, like uh, not only the paparazzi, not but, lately. but people or like... They've been it, hiding him away, poor thing. Oh, you mean like paparazzi in the streets? Or like anybody that is like A-list celebrity that just gets hounded by uh, the humanity around them. It's it not looks as bad annoying. anymore. It's not, really? it's not like that anymore. It doesn't seem like it's as bad as it was like maybe celebrity, 10 years celebrity ago. Celebrity so. dumb itself has kind of been watered down with influencers That's and true. everybody else. Like, hey, I got 20,000 followers on my Instagram. You know, everybody. Now it is for like Taylor Swift, sure. Sure. You yeah, know, yeah, like yeah. she's, again, yes. but, but she's at, in a weird place where I still think she's on a rise. Whereas Arnold gets this legendary, his he's relationship in a different is different. Category. Even though I think he's a bigger celebrity, he was also a politician. And, I, and what I mean by that is he's been a celebrity longer. Oh it's, my, he's it's yeah. more people know over a, the cross. He's the, like grandpa celebrity. Yeah, across yeah. generations, he's yeah. known. Whereas Taylor's gonna not win that battle, right? But she is. The, he's the bigger star in. Like how long he's been time, doing it. Yeah. She's on her way up, which to me means that she is like active. She's an like it's almost She's like an active volcano. To get hounded too. They'll uh, like eject those slides, even if there's like smoke in the plane and like on the tarmac. Still, they'll like we got eject, smoke. Every... eject the slide. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like so <laughs> for fun. So even if it's just like a small electrical Put fire, the smoke in the slides. That's not even that big of a deal, but it causes like it fills like the, the plane up with a little bit of smoke. They'll like so there are people that are, have ridden those slides. Y'all ever been on a plane with a little bit of smoke? <laughs> Ooh, that'll pucker. Yes, you know. I have. That that'll reminds me of your friends who were EMTs. And it's like, oh, got to cut your shirt off. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> just, well, you got to do any excuse. I think about that every time I'm having a panic attack after tooting. I'm like, oh, I, I'm oh, not yeah. having a heart attack. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They'll I'm give not having a heart attack. I know Tom's friends will cut my shirt off. Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah. You're prime. And at this point, cut people are so horny, they'll cut any shirt off. <laughs> Tra- well, Trav ain't stopping him. Trav will no. be like, well, okay. He's like, I want to see him too. <laughs> yeah, because you're like, this person's a doctor. So <laughs> they are not they a doctor. Not a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> they got a, a couple semesters of training. I I know. I saw them at the concert. They have no idea what to do when someone has a goddamn but They know uh, how to cut the shirt off. I'll tell you that. Some of the finest shirt cut I've ever seen has My been in concerts. So I, I may have said this story before, and if I have, then if just... You, if you have, then your, your bit chalk is me up canceled. As a, <laughs> chalk me up as a Tom. But... Uh, 
one of my favorite anger moments of all time at an airport was uh, I was going through security and this, again, D head businessman was wanting to go through the scanner, but holding his wallet. And they were oh, like, I thought that's what you're supposed to do. You no, know, because instead of putting it on the conveyor belt or whatever, and he was doing the whole, it's like, I've flown so many, like, when you say I've done this or I've flown so many times or I'm a million mile flyer, like I immediately know you're an awful person, but he's like, I can just hold it above my head. And security's like, no, we are making you put it on the belt. So he gets. I think he's right on this one. So he gets really angry because he's doing the whole, it's like, I've flown all the time. He unzips my bag, which was a black rolling case. And he pulled out all your dildos. And he (laughs) he shoved his wallet in my bag instead of his brown duffel bag. So they weren't even similar. Ah. And so when he did that, and I'm going through, I'm like, hey, he put his stuff in my bag. And so TSA like did the like big gasping sign. They're like, sir, you just opened up someone else's bag. We're going to need you to step out of line. He yelled out the biggest GD I have ever heard in God my life. <laughs> to a like point that. where like, you know how sometimes some airports have like the people with the or rifles and go, stuff? Yeah. No, he said the Homeland <laughs> Security, yeah. Yeah, he said the whole thing and people with rifles ran over cuz they oh. thought like he was yelling something right. and was about to whatever. And it was all Somebody be- put his and phone in the dildo bag. He started like yelling at TSA as if they made him open my bag, even though again, my bag looks nothing like his and that it was their fault that my bag he put his wallet and stuff. He goes, "Do you know what would have happened if I lost my wallet and I'm in that bag of dildos?" <laughs> Again, not to keep saying the same thing over and over, but doesn't he realize that, like, causing a scene is just going to cause him to be delayed more? <laughs> like, in his mind, he thinks by doing that... that he's he not get... even thinking. No. You guys, are, you guys are thinking too much into it. He's yeah. not thinking. All I'm he's not, thinking is, no. God damn it, right I have to stand it. here longer now. I, think <laughs> in his... I had a guy... Do you remember the flight when I was coming back from the Dominican Republic and it was with Maisie and we were so tired? And that guy... Stood up in fr- like to get off the plane. He like muscled his way in front of us down the aisle. Yeah, and it made me mad because we were tired and we just want to get off the plane. Mm-hmm. And he, like smushed into me and smushed into Maisie because uh. we're just trying to get out in order. Yeah. So I proceeded to take my bag down and I put it narrow in the aisle and I ran this bag into this fat ass's shoes a hundred times as hard as I could. <laughs> leaving, I'm like, I'm uh. gonna beat this fat ass's. The back of his heels had so much uh, like beat up skin. I'm gonna beat this person's heels to death. <laughs> as it, they felt, it felt awesome, dude. You should try it sometime. The only thing that he they, deserved every second of it. That they are thinking is if I yell loud enough, I'm gonna get my way because they don't want to deal with confrontation. They don't want to deal with my yelling. So I'm gonna be able to succeed getting through. You're a tall guy. You could stand up and scare some people, I think. Oh, I well, first off, I knew that that Homeland Security was going to tackle his ass, which was going to yeah, be fantastic. They, I, but also, like, uh, d- doesn't all of society realize, like, you start effing around in an airport or planes? You would like, think. Like, well, no. they, they, in, Tom, in society, a... let's, like, they'll drag you out with the bloody nose of the <laughs> yeah, plane, yeah. and guess what happens? He's Nothing a, will happen, except we're million. all going to laugh at you. <laughs> yeah. And then yeah. and society's going to be like, hey, you effed yeah. around on a plane. It does help like, you. We're, I think we all, like, are fine with any sort of force being taken on a plane and them taking it seriously. Oh, yeah. Like we're all like, hey, yeah, I'm screwing want- around. Yeah. One, <laughs> of, the, one yeah. of the best videos I've seen is like a lady and she was like, I don't know, worked for the the governor's office or the mayor's office, I don't know, somewhere. And she was just being a huge bitch to and it's like, I don't want to sit next to this screaming baby and the flight attendant's like, I'm sorry, we can move you, like, you know, we can't do anything. And and she was like, Well, what what's your name and what's your, you know, badge number or whatever? It's like you're not gonna have a job tomorrow, like to the flight attendant. <laughs> So the flight attendant. Those are my favorite. The so, the, so the flight attendant's like, "You're off this plane. Like, we're kicking Whoa. you out." Nice. And then immediately she's like, "No, I'm so sorry. I'm Get so sorry. I'm like, well, I, I have to be on this flight. I can't miss Two. it. Whatever." Yeah. Uh, and then please, the ne- sir, please, sir. And then the next day, like her name was removed from the governor's website, like a- as an employee, oh, and she was immediately <laughs> fired because it was all caught on camera. You oh, know damn. what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it was such the best. Like, oh, you get what you deserve. There is a phenomenon that happened uh, directly after COVID. 
appreciated that I, I've been told multiple times by a flight attendant that's in my family that uh, she's like, I don't know what it is. I think it maybe it like COVID caused everybody to be like, man, what if I can't travel again in the future? Like I got to spend, you know, spend my my savings and go out there and do something, you know, like. Yeah. And she said there are more like she could tell that people are flying for the first time or don't know etiquette or, like, oh, yeah. are, you know, going yeah. out there and new people in the sky. I think planes are also full got, of it. Yeah, yeah. got stir crazy, too. So I think they're just like, I don't know how to handle myself yeah. around people anymore. And the crazy people are out uh, flying. Yeah. <laughs> they, they normally... Think of how many people get up there and have a freak out. Yeah, yeah. The, I mean, for those out, of us that have D-heads. legitimate... Like fear of flying. I'm like, doing my first international flight next month, and I'm freaking out. Nah, you'll be fine. <laughs> where where like, to? No. Ireland. Oh, okay. Direct. Yeah. Oh, you'll be fine. Listen, yeah, I think you'll be. It, good. It's it's a weird it's a weird bell curve. It's like really short flights or really long flights are great. It's those mid, you know, just flying across the country flights that are you fly the crazy a ton ones. and you All fly right. a lot of mid flights. Yeah. yeah. Well, and, and I don't mean that in terms of safety. It means in terms of crazy people. Like you know what mm. I mean. Like if you're going international nonstop there. You're not going to have a bunch of crazy nice people and, on your nice flight. Yeah. Yeah, now, uh, here's some... Uh, just I'm drink gonna, on the plane. I'm going to throw out some, uh, some compliments to the to an- anxiety men out there. And Daniel's hey, like this, too. I'm one where, of those guys. And when I go use the bathroom on flights, I see them like sitting. Because they're usually sitting, and they're not watching anything. They are like stone, like uh, frozen <laughs> and fear. I'm making sure I don't spray puke anywhere. <laughs> and, and, I have to hold it in. I have to stay they're dead center to blank yes, screen then, until we land. I'm and then, barely breathing. Yeah. And then they're staring at... <laughs> super efficient with I my breathing, too. Breathe. You know, no, I get really efficient. I'm like... You know the map yeah. where the, you could see the plane or where it's at? They're That's sta- what I watch. They're staring at that. Yes. Just won't. Where are we? Yeah, make Can we sure get there faster? The, the plane doesn't explode or yeah. whatever they're yeah. going. Oh, if I saw it explode on the and, screen, I'd be like, oh my God. <laughs> is that me? God, it's God. And the greatest part of it is they're suffering in silence. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, listen, everybody's people have to deal with their own issues or whatever. Just sit there and yeah, suffer in silence. Yeah. Frozen. Don't do what other, like, you don't, yeah. you know, like, I, I don't cause like a scene. A I don't gonna, I'm not me. Mean to people. Freak in fact, out. In fact, when I'm hyper scared, I'm extra nice to everybody, right? Yeah, I'm in like a. I'm frozen like frozen in fear. I frozen in fear. Homeostasis <laughs> yeah. of fear. I've re- I've reached like a nirvana of fear. Scarevana. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> j- just do that. I don't know what the the impulse is to start causing scenes or be mean they to can't, people. They can't even control it. But they're I not afraid. Yeah. They're not afraid of anything. Well, you're yeah, one of those guys. I think the people you just don't have the D head gene that are causing the scenes aren't the ones that are anxiety ridden. I think they're just the ones that they got other issues going on. It could be some other mental... Yeah, uh, exactly. Yeah. I don't think it's anxiety that's causing these people to, to some do Some of it, outs. I think, but yeah. N- well, sometimes the anxiety it. causes them to take uh, some of the pills or uh, whatever. Now they it's they mushrooms, are. right? Don't some we have a lot of... It's not real. Yeah, what happened to her? She she was... It's mushrooms, right? Everybody's taking mushrooms she, before they I get don't on think the it flight. was mushrooms. I think she was drunk and she doesn't want to admit it. Yeah, probably. Because she tried to save herself. Full Zanny bar, some yeah. drinks at the bar. <laughs> like yeah. that'll cause you to. I remember in college, like you, oh, you, you'll just talk nonsense. You, you, you uh, all of, like all of a sudden your consciousness or your reality you're shuts blacked off. Out awake. Yeah, you're blacked, yes, out, blacked awake. out awake. And then now you're operating on some sort of different brain. You've seen me like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's bl- pulled me through I've airports seen like that. Like yeah, that. Yeah, he's yeah. pulled me through an airport before, and I'll stand there and I'm and talking it, to everybody like I'm just fine. Yeah, <laughs> weekend but, at Bernie's. But then <laughs> something could change, and you're violent at some point. You're trying to open the door during a flight. <laughs> is, uh, and that's I thought this was the bathroom. I'm too scared to do that, though. Uh, yeah. I will say. I don't even go to the bathroom on the plane. Really? That's how scared, no, you are? That's how scared I am. Oh, I don't man. get up. That makes me sad. Well, <laughs> you okay. gotta go to the bathroom. I'm gonna have to wear a diaper to well, Ireland. <laughs> you and I are tall, and I hate the fact that the bathroom, airplane bathrooms Never have, been in. have that sloped uh, uh, ceiling, oh, it's cozy which I don't, sucks. I don't get it because it's like if I, if at least for guys, when you stand up to pee, like my forehead is hitting the Sit ceiling because of how sloped it is. Um, you of all people should know in a public <laughs> restaurant, always, sitting down. I always take because yeah. of nervous belly. Almost yeah. every plane flight I've been on with you, namely, I take a humongous oh, no. beer can turn. Oh, I mean, man, a oh god, mega Xanax poop. I've never pooped an airplane uh, ever. I every every it's airplane I've been in. Poop. I think I pooped in every airplane I've been in because <laughs> I have such a nervous stomach. I always wonder who's pooping in I here. I wait till we get re- like when they when they go. Who's pooping? You'll get one of these. Like we'll be up there, and I've already got a couple drinks in me. The Xanax starts to hit. I'm starting to get comfortable with being uncomfortable, right? And then yeah, they go. Yeah. 
The captain has said no. They go, Jim, 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 Jim. <laughs> and then I get up and then I take my seatbelt off and then I go in there and I'm like, ah, I sit down. I'm high on Xanax. Takes a long time to poop because I'm high on Xanax. <laughs> the weirdest part is it's a smooth ride the entire time and then I go to the bathroom and that's when turbulence <laughs> hits. And that's when wow. I'm just like, I'm sitting there and I'm, again, not just peeing everywhere, but then hitting my head on that sloped ceiling, yeah. trying, trying to wash my hand. It's just, it's awful. It's shakier in the back, too. Like, I don't yeah. know. Like, mm-hmm. it's more... You although, ever sat next by the bathroom? Oh, it's the war. Yeah, yeah. I've sat in the last <laughs> row many too, times. Yeah. There are some planes where there's one bathroom up front, like, near yeah. the cockpit. But you know when you stand up and you start walking towards it, people are like, mm, what is he up to? Mm, what's that person yeah, doing? Yeah. Are, uh, they, are they going to storm the I do that anytime anybody stands up on a plane. I'm like, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> Especially yeah, yeah. if you have Terrifying. a beard. Terrifying. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I don't get that because I'm the most generic white guy you've ever seen. <laughs> no, you don't. So generic white guy is that not is suspicious at all. Like yeah. I said, like, look at that dirt. He, yeah, right? You're he looked, suspicious as hell to <laughs> me, dude. <laughs> like that guy could Y'all fly. Y'all the ones that commit the most crimes. <laughs> no, no, but, yeah, yeah, but, but not on the plane. You're using logic. <laughs> I'm saying emotion. Uh, you get up there and you're anything else but generic <laughs> yeah, white yeah. guy, yeah. especially you're profiling like a mug. If you got anything <laughs> on your head, that's an interesting hat choice. Anything like people all profile. You. That you, you and hats, man. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, just yeah. saying. That's, that's, how we figure, many hats. that's how we figure out what country he's in. People are profiling. What kind of hats do you have on? Yeah, I can around. tell what country you're from by what hat you, you have. have. I must be in Obama land. You have any flowing type of thing on there, profiling. I'm saying. Yeah. Is if it's flowy. Yeah. I gotta, I gotta double check your sarong. I'm yeah, like, is yeah. that a sarong? If you got some okay. dad jeans and a tucked in polo, <laughs> yeah, like, right. they're well, like, that guy can fly the plane. And I mean, you, you know, because obviously you have family in the industry, but flight attendants, from just my conversations with them, they they judge people immediately based on what they come on, yeah, like yeah. The, the plane. And, and they're always right. Well, well, <laughs> but not just that, but, <laughs> but even they, like. They tell me, they're like, yeah. I judge a book by his cover, always right. <laughs> I'm even, like, I know you are. Even D head businessmen, you know what I mean? That's why, like, I try to come on. I will say the blue hair helps because the blue blue hair they immediately like oh i like your hair we get in conversation i goof around with them yeah i get free like they're not, not intimidating not, exactly yeah. and it's like i do a lot of actions to try to be nice to them one because their job is hell but two it gets me free drinks a lot of the time you know what i mean because right. like they, that's how they end up like rewarding you or saying thank you like if- i would get that a lot for announcing and i do do this and it would make you uncomfortable but as soon as especially if it were like Someone that I felt I could chirp with. Not all flight uh, uh, attendants. Is that what they're called? Flight mm-hmm. yeah. 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 Not all flight attendants are uh, like I prefer chirpers. stewardesses. Yeah, yeah. I do, too. I do, too. That's how I'm double-checking. Uh, but, like, I would say immediately, I'd be like, hey, thank you so much. I'm a nervous flyer, and I just appreciate what you guys are doing. Just by saying that, they're like, remember they sneak us extra beers? They're like, yeah. extra nice to you when you let them know that you're scared. When, when I, when I like, yelled at that, that guy who was interrupting the, the flight attendant stuff, and I was like, come on, just let her do her job or whatever. She kind of like, as she was passing by, mouthed thank you. I ordered Meet a... Meet dr- me in the bathroom. <laughs> All right. Hey, blue hair. Let's see if it's blue down there. <laughs> do you die down there? Manscape. <laughs> uh, hey. He is trying to take my job. Tom <laughs> Dan 20. Tom Dan 20. Right. If you have promo blue, code. If you have Wait, do you do it like Tom? If you have hideously horrible blue pubic hair, he does, oh, yeah, doesn't yeah, he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's called the Mark Simpson. No. That's, a, yeah, that's what I do that perverts do. No. <laughs> it's the only thing. Mm-hmm. I'll fully admit, I don't care. But That no. and look at your Facebook uh, <laughs> vacation photos. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll be doing that, that. I'll be I, doing that I, later I, today. Yeah. I lo- that time, Tom I logged that into my Facebook and saw all my messages. I know. Oh, yeah. no, I he read didn't. them all. He was no, he was still logged in. I just You know what's funny? It's the only time he's taking his computer to the bathroom. I logged immediately out. I was going to do that. I had a haggis pie and my stomach hurt <laughs> oh, did Tiffany, but I didn't. Yeah, yeah, uh, he, did he blames it on he, the haggis he pie. He did want to leave like your like what is Samantha doing now? He wanted to leave something to allude to you that having you ha- horrible diarrhea. Yeah, yeah. Uh. I, yeah, yeah. I did that to Tiffany one time when she yeah. left her Facebook open. I just said I had haggis pie and, <laughs> and now my tummy hurt. Yeah, tummy hurt. <laughs> it's just funny for girls to uh, yeah. like admit on social media they have yeah, diarrhea. They have, yeah, <laughs> I don't yeah. know. Girls that was the only funny. thing I could think of. <laughs> anyway, I had a friend who. Yeah, it was also a very the sweetest pranking you've ever done to somebody. Yeah. Uh, my tummy hurts. That's it. <laughs> 
yeah, well, well, he's a different man. Yeah, yeah. I get you. If he's you a businessman. If you're like, cold. I just spread I'm diet. blowing up the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. They, they, they wouldn't know. Yeah. So I thought no, I, the I, haggis pie, though, like I think is is the the key phrase. <laughs> yeah, it's so ridiculous. <laughs> so it's manscape chat room saying co- uh, promo code haggis pie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Put that one. Out. No, and I'll, I'll fully admit, I don't like, care. so oh, I. God damn, Tom. <laughs> I'll say I'll I'll go the the rate of Tom and just go full bick only because you bick it only because of laziness Uh only because of laziness no it's it's off putting when you get the when you get the oily sheen after fresh doing it it's not good I'm just saying I do that because I don't want to have to like constantly maintain it you get little red ingrowns with whiteheads on them and then you you scratch them while you're sleeping I like when my whole pappus is red dots. I call that the French burnt peanut. Oh, dude, oh my god! Does anybody know? Do you guys remember French burnt peanuts? <laughs> no, Mom used to love. It was a. It's a candy coated nut. It's so it peanuts. No, no, you don't know what a French burnt no, peanut. No, I've never heard of those. I know oh, Sam. A, I've heard you make that joke before. Yeah. that Jimmy's what head looks like that. They're delicious, dude. If you never, it? they're Candy delicious. Coated peanuts. They're delicious. They're amazingly good, Wait, but they I, look horrible. They look like red acne balls. They do. They look disgusting. Is it similar to like Boston baked beans? Yes. Like the candy? French. Hold on. So are they peanuts that French. are coated? Is that like I've, yeah. ha- I've had coated like uh, think M and M's but without yeah. chocolate? Yeah, but they're they like are. lumpy. They look like, they look like raspberries. Dude. Yeah, they do look like raspberries a they, little bit. They look like well, what's the coating? They look like little polyps. I honestly have no <laughs> oh, idea what they're coated. They got yeah. cut out of my husband. I think it's just <laughs> it's it's the candy coating like you would have on M and M's. It's just without the chocolate. They're, they're absolutely freaking. It says delicious. it is the granddad of the Boston baked beans. It's, it, they're delicious, dude. They're they're addicting. And they're the th- Boston baked bean is a peanut yeah. roasted peanut. Boston baked beans is a candy yeah. that looks like baked beans, but the, it's just candy coated peanuts. It says the oh, difference no is idea. the French burnt peanut, or what they call the FBP. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know me. That's has how the spi- kids say it. Has spikes and a rustic coating, while yeah. the BBB Boston baked bean has a smooth, shiny outer coating. Boston baked so they beans look uglier, but is a candy the you would find at like Cracker Barrel. Yeah. All right. Dude, uh, but French burnt peanuts, when I was a kid, my Never dad is, my dad, come here, boy, I got you some French burnt peanuts. And <laughs> Where I've do you find them? Yeah, I've you, never Daddy. heard of them. Give me a look. Hey, eat a few of these when you're playing with your wagon wheel. Two is, moves podcast. Is <laughs> that still going on? Uh, we're having a lot of issues with our oh, website. And stuff. Oh, first it was oh, Sam, now oh, the moves. You didn't pay GoDaddy. Yeah, know, sometimes, yeah, yeah. Well, I've also been on the road for so long, so it's oh, just yeah. going to be. He's one of the, been a GoDaddy. GoDaddy's oh, really yeah. moofing your ass. So that's it. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Uh, what? It's done, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> just say it. That's yeah. why he's trying to get this job. Yeah, just yeah. say it. Just yeah. say it. I got to supplement my income somehow. Oh, oh promo bro. code no more moves twenty. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you want a manscape sponsorship? Yeah, uh, you want right. a sponsorship? I'll, sure, I'll take it. Yeah, right, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they won't give it to you. <laughs> uh, won't even give it to us. Uh, yeah, also, that is the most seductive Tom's ever been like. Yeah, 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 <laughs> I like your blue hair, huh? Okay? All right, uh, let's get out of here. We'll see you tomorrow. Welcome back to A Corporate Time with Tom and Dan. I'm Tom. I am Dan. I just found out that we have been promoting St. Baldrick's for 10 years yeah, now, which yeah. is insane. Yeah, hold on. That deserves, uh, that deserves a, an, uh, that which deserves I guess one it, of those. It kind of makes sense because we're about to celebrate our 10-year ACT anniversary, which tickets are for sale right now at TomandDan.com. Yeah. It's at the Wayne Dinch Theater in Sanford. It is. Is uh, it the Wayne Dinch Theater or is it the Ritz Theater at the Wayne? What is it? I've been saying. I think it's both. It's the way it says Wayne Dinch Theater on the. Uh, on but the then there's a marquee. sign that says the Ritz. The yeah. Ritz Theater at Wayne Dinch Performing Arts Center. Oh, I knew God. it was the Wayne. <laughs> no, it's the Ritz Theater at the Wayne Dinch Performing Arts Center. So, um, and that's 10 years. So I guess we uh, have been having the St. Baldrick's guys in, the firefighters in for 10 years uh, since we started Didn't we AZT? do that before that? Didn't we do it on the Monsters, too? Yeah. One, yeah, one yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. One year on the oh, Monsters. Were you counting yeah. that year? I mean, it was here, or is that the the other place? Yeah, it was a, it was Daniel's the house. Place. That was my house. <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's the you, other it was place. In that you know, asshole. Yeah, yeah. I got that junk with yeah. that fat lady. You know if it That's was clear, my Joe. What? <laughs> you mother. <laughs> there was a dog you know, barking in the that, background. Without that dump with the old lady who had the long <laughs> T words. <laughs> hey, John, do you know that that means that Tom has been promising to shave his head for over ten years? Yeah, yeah, uh, and he can do it now because he won't I wear a swim aware. cap and it's nature swim. 
swim cap is shaving your head. <laughs> you won't wear a swim cap? No, no. He's, he's, oh, he's, this kind of uh, shows your weakness. Yeah, right? he, won't, <laughs> he won't wear a swim cap because you guys know he you're wears, a firefighter. Wait, a swim cap or a speedo? No, he'll no, wear a, swim a speedo. Cap. He wears speedos all the time. Yeah, yeah. Real men wear speedos. Oh, well, you said show your weakness. What's well, the swim cap? You're yeah. like, I... yeah. You can't wear a swim cap. I got I it one too. He's making a small weenie joke. I know. Uh, well, wait, wear... hold on. Go, let's go back to the swim cap. Uh, Why won't you wear one? Well, it's got a small weed. Of, <laughs> <laughs> no, it's kind of like you know, well, it's it stupid looking. You know, it's, it's, it's right. It's stupid. Like, like, okay, you yeah. know, it's just like I don't. It seems like he you're trying want to people pre- to see him there, and he's got the swim cap okay. on. The one side he has American so, flag, the other side. What are you going to uh, put on the other side? <laughs> we got to decide what you're going to put on the second side of your swim cap. The Russian flag. <laughs> no, oh my God, you can't be a double agent. I thought people liked that. You almost got body slammed by Jason Kelsey. <laughs> oh, I thought you were into that. I don't know what yeah. people like, you know. You're way out of touch, buddy. <laughs> yeah. American Russia. No, no, he kind of looks like a Russian bear. So you're, you're doing an Iron Man? Oh, okay, you're doing an Iron Man? Uh, no, no, no. Triathlon. He's doing a pineapple a man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It okay. is called the pineapple. It's like a sprint triathlon. So okay. It's, it's the gayest of all triathlons. <laughs> the pineapple man. So, are you a strong He's swimmer? He's doing the butt plug 500. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know. It may be a good idea to wear a really bright cap. That way, if you start sinking. That's what they said, but he doesn't want to do that. He wants a swim cap that has his own hair <laughs> stitched into it. <laughs> That's a brilliant idea. No, no. It's just, we just look goofy with the yeah. swim cap. And Crystal, like, she'll like, swim with me at the uh, uh, the pool. Every yeah. can't even hey. talk. You're like, Crystal, swim with me. <laughs> What's she wearing? No, but she puts on the swim cap. She does it? Yeah, yeah. And you didn't like, tell me this that. Is stupid. <laughs> <laughs> you tell me that. You look ridiculous. It does. A lot of hair it does too. lower expectations, though, right? If you show up with the swim cap, everybody's like, "Oh, this guy's a gamer." And then if you're out there and you end up in last, uh, not to say you will, and you want to walk out yeah, there with like yeah, a piece yeah, of okay, hand like, like, and overall, yeah, you don't want to be the one that has like all the gear. And no, then you're I dead got. Last. Oh no, I got the gear. This is the yeah. Yeah, this is the problem. Uh, you yeah, yeah. know what? He's, I've he's been... got a four thousand dollar bike out there. No, no, no. Is that? Uh, I think that's that's not that. We're Fuji. That's what is a that? badass bike, dude. Um, That'll blow so, my bike away. I got a Huffy. I got a rusted Huffy. I ride with him today. So be- is that carbon? Oh, yeah. no. The whole no, thing's no. carbon. Carbon is it and aluminum? gel. No, it's carbon and gel. I know what it is. I don't know what uh, it is. <laughs> it's a round bike. <laughs> you know. Is it super light? Nah, <laughs> is it like not as light as you have uh, no business running this uh, pineapple man. Like uh, <laughs> anyway, um, I do have the whole like uh, uh, they call it a tri kit that yeah, I bought, kit, but yeah. and and I bought it from my trainers, my sister in law who has a professional business, and it looks professional. Yeah, it looks good. Therefore, I'm going to be embarrassed when I jump in and I'm last, and uh, yeah, I'm swimming yeah. on my back because I'm winded after a hundred yards of swimming. Yeah. <laughs> have you ever swam a hundred yards? You're doing it. It's impossible to get I, that way. I've never swam 100 yards. <laughs> like, like I, I mean, I've swam in a pool. I've done a couple laps. Not 100 yards. Yeah, yeah I've, I've done it now a dozen times, and it still feels the same. Yeah, <laughs> like, it's terrible. Running, I got. Like, I ran a 5K yesterday. Uh, I've, I've seen fine. I've been running, like, and then two days before that. What do you like, guys think? And you swam in a lake? Or pool? Not yet. Not yet. Oh yeah, boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. I did it in the sun the other day, and the sun was blinding me every time I took a breath. Yeah, you got to close your eyes. <laughs> like, I told her, close I did, your eyes when you swim, man. Yeah. Like, because I'm used to swimming in the gym pool inside, yeah, yeah. and then I now I'm in swim- air conditioning. Yeah, he's swimming in the dark. The, the lake is different too. He's like, this too. is no problem. Yeah. Oh yeah. God, Tom. I know. We got to start training in Lake Baldwin. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got to go out there. I'll be in a canoe. I'll be paddling. Lake Jessup. Yeah, yeah. That'd be some good uh, training. <laughs> I've swam on Lake Jessup before. Oh my god! Uh, for a radio bit, uh, long yeah. time ago. Oh, yeah. The Gators don't. Uh, nah. You can swim my in there mom all and dad day long. Used to water ski in Jessup all the time. Yeah, you, you can swim in Lake Jessup during the day. The Gators aren't going to bite you during the day. No. They bite you at dusk. They're certainly Everyone not going to. They're not going to bite you while you're water skiing, smoking a cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> you shut up, Jason Kelsey. <laughs> yeah, no one talked to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this guy. You know your place, Jason. <laughs> no, I'm joking. We're messing around. Um, so uh, yeah, speaking. Of that, um, Johnny yeah. is here. Uh, are you a firefighter, Johnny? No, I uh, I work at Citrus City. I'm a I'm a operating uh, partner. Over yes, there. I knew uh, that. Beer guy, yeah. I knew it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, so let's talk Citrus about St. Baldrick's. We haven't even promoted it yet. Uh, St. Baldrick's is going on uh, this Sunday coming up, March 17th, St. Patrick's Day at Citrus City Craft, mm-hmm. um, and obviously is one of Paul's uh, bars. Mm-hmm. And uh, and you guys are raising money uh, for kids with. 
with uh, cancer. And I and we've been promoting it for 10 years. I feel like our listeners know St. Baldrick's. That um, is the nice thing about Baldrick's is you say it and people go, oh, we know those guys. We know yeah. what this is. We know where do we write the check or where do we shave our head or where do we mm-hmm. participate or how can we help? So let's uh, let's just start with that. Like, how do people get involved? Uh, what can people? How can they sign up if they do want to shave their head and support and raise some money for St. Paldrick's? Let's talk about it. All right. So uh, the quick background: it's a national event. It's based out of California, and we do a feeder event here locally. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm a firefighter with Orange County. Steve, uh, John to my left here is with uh, Orlando Fire Department. We had our own separate events and we combined events like eight or nine years ago now. And we created the Central Florida St. Baldrick's event. And so uh, we have been at a few different venues. And this year we're at Citrus City in Lake Mary. And the goal is to to go out and you don't have to shave your head, right? If you just want to go out and support and be involved, have a few drinks, eat something from the food trucks, donate a little money here, you know, win some raffle prizes, things like that, you do not have to shave your head. But we would love for you to show up. You don't need to be a firefighter. You don't have to, you know, be a family member of a firefighter or anything like that. Anybody in the community can come out. It's from 1 to 5 will be the actual head shaving. And then Citrus is actually going to continue the party with live bands and things like that nice. until 8. Uh, so, so, yeah, the concept is uh, we grow our hair out and we raise money and we raise awareness, right? Because if you got a bunch of dudes that had hair on, you know, Friday when you saw them and now you come into work on Monday and they're bald... It's a pretty stark contrast, and it starts asking, you know, people start asking questions, and conversations are had, and you just kind of say, you know, 4% of all the, all the research money that goes towards cancer goes to pediatric cancer. But anybody in this room, we'd rather lose, you know, a testicle or a boob or, you know, almost anything before we want to lose one of our kids. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it's unfortunate that that's the way, that's the way it goes, but... Um, but so we're going to be out there and, you know, as they say, doing it for the kids. That's yeah. awesome, man. Yeah. And, yeah. and if someone does want to shave their head yep. and then get their friends and family to donate to uh-huh. you yeah. to raise money, because that's what people are doing. Like, hey, I'm going to shave my head. Right. Uh, Don't you say know. that. You always do that. Oh, right. yeah. <laughs> no. yeah. You heard it here. He's going to shave his head. I'll donate the money. somebody else. That's There's not what somebody I want. else. That's not what I want. Skin yeah. in the game, dude. No, right, right. I'll right. donate with this. And you got also, the Jonah Jameson grays. You look like Spider-Man's boss. You need to shave it down. Also, let's just talk about how uh, over the 10 years of us supporting St. Baldrick's. Like, You've lied to them 10 years. Every year, John Text me, yeah. and then I go through the effort of emailing Sam, telling her to set this up. But so we would do this, this that, like that, if they just stopped so, by and rang the doorbell and said, "Hey, can you squeeze me <laughs> in?" I'd be like, "Get in here, get on the couch, yeah, let's do yeah. some charity so, stuff, man." So, so I am you don't con- need to email him. We, you just we walk hear, in. We hear you tell every guest. You sound so great anytime. No, so but, we, but, we get it. We but, get it. But I'm doing uh, the hero's work of yes. uh, yeah. promoting wow. this, and it's getting more all these listeners and swim cap hero. Yeah, yeah. I'm the one that makes this happen. Yeah, you're you the think feet. About it, you're the feet yeah, that I, makes it walk. Right? John right. tells yeah. me like, "Hey, can I come in this?" And then I have to. Uh, and then get we on all my phone. looked around. We, we all looked around and we said, "Oh my God, how did we make this event happen?" And yeah. Tom said, "I carried you, my son." Yes. Yes. It's like that old yes. Jesus walking down a beach. Yeah, yeah, he carried yeah. us. There's only one set of footprints. It's mine. Big old blue clown shoes. One foot's bigger than the other. You can tell. This man walks with a limp. So back to your question. That's limping selfish Jesus. <laughs> Back to your question. If if somebody would like to raise money uh, because they're going to get their head shaved, or like John is shaving his mustache. Oh, uh, come uh, on. That's pussing out. You've got to well, for well, hold a on. Hold on. Wait, wait. You've got to shave your pappas no, at least. He, <laughs> got a you got a he doesn't time. have you more hair to shave. Pappas. No, he's got to I don't bit. have anything There's, on top. No, no you got to bick your pappas <laughs> down. Right wait. above your, your, your junk. Yeah, yeah. You gotta, it's not already. That fat part. Yours isn't already big. We all got it. Oh, okay. You don't pick your pappas. You're not gay. <laughs> so, if you want to shave your head or your mustache, beard, or whatever it may, or your pappas, is that what you call it? Yes, that's, that's, a, that's a medical term that you should know being in a medical know, profession. Just yeah. no, that's a medical Steve term. Just it's just when you you're crazy. <laughs> your pappas is that big fat part above your penis no, that no. gets hey. fatter as you drink. No, it's, it's, when it's, you it's, took it's, anatomy it's, and physiology, you focused on one thing, buddy. It's your pappas, and it gets hairy. No, no, no. This got crazy. Because we're uh, recording during lunch. It's also right the now. last week for me, so Dan's gonna go uh, go all the way off the road. Oh, yeah, I'm going all in. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. they can go to stbaldricks.org. Okay. 
and they Should can like in the search Park. like event search bar mm. you can type in Central Florida yep and uh, an event will come up and it says Citrus City Craft click on that one and then you can create your own team you can just you can create a page a fundraising page as an individual or you can join another team if you want to go that route um, okay. same thing if you can't make it out there or you know you everybody's busy at spring break we get it but uh, if you'd still like to support but you can't make it out there you can go to the same same st baldrick's dot org uh, just in the search central Florida Citrus city craft and then you can donate to the general fund as well if you want okay. to do that and, and just hang out at Citrus city craft and have some beers for St Patrick's yeah, Day with yeah. entertainment and, you know, and let's talk about that people it's a good vibe so uh, Johnny is here from Citrus uh, city craft Hello. and um, if people uh, I know you guys have uh, tons of beer on tap and uh, you know uh, let's talk about Citrus yeah city. yeah so we um, we are uh, kind of a neighborhood bar but we really focus on like craft beer especially florida craft beer about 50 yeah. percent of our 48 taps are florida beers at any given time usually it's more but at least 50 percent of our taps are florida beers locals side we're brewing hourglass stuff stuff that's close to us um yeah, yeah. stuff you probably all know and then we also have a list of signature cocktails and and a lot of Awesome, cool, creative drinks, and uh, especially for like events, we often do signature cocktails just for our events. We're doing uh, we have a we have a, a frozen Irish coffee mm. for uh, for this Sunday, so we're really excited about that. I actually just tried it yesterday; it's very good. Awesome. I would suggest the irritated Pappas. <laughs> in, so, uh, John, like a pink rosé <laughs> with I'm, maybe. I'm I'm sure you've been told this a lot, but you look like Jason Kelsey. Uh, ne- I actually have never. <laughs> you've never been told that. <laughs> really <laughs> doesn't look like him to me. But well, he's got a beard. Yeah. And you're well, a big dude. A lot of what I meant to say is I haven't heard it today yet. <laughs> oh, Okay, yeah. Right, right, yeah. Right. yeah, I see it, man. Yeah. So, um, and there, and this happened to me uh, when they don't even have the same color eyes. Well, that I, I who, never look at eyes. Yeah. Oh my god, got, I don't even know my wife's eyes. I could even it's, tell you. It's a general look. He, got lost a big, he just has dark hair with a beard. Yeah, 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 yeah that's all you, you need. Get it. That's well, you right. See it too. You <laughs> see it too. Yeah, that's a lot need. of Jason Kelsey's in the BDM group. Yeah, so, yeah. 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 But see, every once in a while, someone becomes famous that has a look that it looks kind of like your look, yeah. and you mm-hmm. benefit from it. Yeah, I really am. I was killing it for Vern Troyer. And then people just like you more because people like Jason Kelsey, so people just like you because you look kind of like Jason yeah. Kelsey, and then you, you benefit from yeah. a beloved look. You're so, also a Hagrid. You got a vibe there. Yeah, right? I've gotten so, that and before. And these are all Young characters Santa Claus that people love. Yeah. These are all, <laughs> That's they're, not, they're not like getting like, oh, this looks like a dictator mm-hmm. that kills everybody. Yeah. You're getting like the best. That's true, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, so this <laughs> happened to me when Free Willy came out. All right, follow me uh, with this. Who do you look like? So, the whale? Uh, the whale. <laughs> no, no, the kid from Free Willy. Elijah Wood? When I was that age. Oh, you did look like that kid. Like, oh, I looked like yeah, a kid. Like, yeah, people yeah. in middle school used to be like, you look like Free Willy. You look like Free Willy, except you smell like cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then also, the older brother Trashy from uh, the Tool Time, not Tool, what was the Tool Time show? Uh, uh, it was it, Home Improvement. Home Improvement. I looked like the older brother Zachary from... Zachary Ty Bryson? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, he's a real hell yeah. <laughs> that guy. That guy's a P.O.S. You look nothing uh, like The him. oldest I was one young, or the middle one? Uh, well, no. The oldest one was blonde, right? Yeah, and the, the middest one was JTT, no. And it wasn't was the youngest one. He was weak. <laughs> it was the old Mark? Uh, Mark. Mark, I hated Mark. Mark Remember when he went through his goth phase? Mark ruined that show. But what I'm telling you oh, he is, was annoying. like, yeah. little white boys with a little bit of rosacea. Yeah. That's what me yeah, and I had that look. And then people liked me they more do. Do. because <laughs> I was a little white boy with a rosacea. Also, in Miami, an anomaly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're like a unicorn now. <laughs> if I was in Nebraska, yeah. I'd be like, yeah. everybody looks like Free yeah. Willy. <laughs> you actually do look like the kid from Free Willy. Yeah, I'm telling you. He really does. Isn't All, it the, the blue eyes? Every Spanish kid and my friends are yeah. like, you know like, they well? Yeah, they yeah. know they well? And, and, <laughs> and I'm just saying that every, in, in, hopefully in, in in your lifetime, someone will become famous that has your look and you will benefit off mm-hmm. that. I'm just saying. Yeah. That's what John needs to do. How did you, how did you really benefit right as now. Free Willy Kid? Yeah, but they all like, like, all the kids liked me oh, more. Oh, so you're popular. Hey, okay. we got the Free oh, Willy Kid uh, here. Slurpees <laughs> for everybody. Is that what they did? Yeah, they may have been some more bullying than... Oh, okay. Hey, the free willy. Hey, the free willy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Put the pants down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I take bullying like compliments. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if they actually. Yeah. What is it? They may have yeah. just been bullying me all the time, but Any... I'm like, they like me. 
<laughs> what do they say? Any attention is good attention. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah, what yeah, I think. I really right. think like they that. They stole my bike. They love me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But uh, so I'm just saying that is a benefit in life, and hopefully other people get oh, that. This, uh, uh, looks like a free willy kid spent some time in jail. Yeah, they all do. They all do. Uh, and don't look up a tray, you kid, either. That kid. Oh, man, he's real bad. Seth and have you seen friend. him lately? That guy's long gray ponytail. I Seth was saving The never-ending story kid? A tray you? Don't look at oh, yeah, yeah. You got to do some crap. So, <laughs> sad. so yeah. sad. It's hard to pull he your... He hurt his back it, on that movie set. It is hard to pull your horse out of the mud when you're smoking crack. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Have you guys seen... His uh, scaly dragon thing? Is fentanyl still a problem? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. How um, bad is yeah, that good guy? Yeah, good switch. Now yeah. it's time for fentanyl <laughs> update with our friends, the firefighters, yeah. and Jason Kelsey. Because uh, my other firefighter buddy uh, down south, he just said for a while there, his it's entire job <laughs> was uh, just narcanning bums Every day, and yeah. that, that's all it was. He said he was just barely keeping them alive. He said it yeah. was a Narcan Tuesday, and they get mad, mad when they woke up. So you yeah. just Narcan them a little bit, so it doesn't. Yeah, uh, don't you know, let it go all the way. Yeah, in there. because if you twenty four percent, yeah, if you give them the full Narcan, they they just pop right up, and they're crazy, and they're mad. So you gotta get yeah. them. You keep them. You uh, killed my bug. Keep a little bit of that fentanyl inside them. Uh, anyway, is so, that true? Is it, that is very true. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, and it, if you push it too fast, they. Better chance of them puking too. Oh, yeah, you yeah, told me that too. That. Yeah, they start, they wake Push up. So <laughs> I can keep yeah. a Burger King down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah but Burger has King. it gotten better or is it still real bad out the there? The fentanyl? Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I want to hear Johnny's <laughs> take on this. <laughs> the the same Johnny, ever been Johnny, for what me. do you know about? <laughs> <laughs> Aren't you retired, Kelsey? <laughs> yeah. Uh, take your shirt off and drink a beer. I've changed stations, so I'm at a. I'm oh. in a place that doesn't have doesn't deal with it as we much. We thought you were 104.1 for life. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get him off the air, Sam. Fire uh, fire stations. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, my is mic's cut. More yeah, rural, yeah. Uh, places that have that problem. Like big, like you think big cities would have more, but the rural, I guess the rural. it never stops. He doesn't know how to stop the word rural. He just goes, rural. Yeah. Hey, I'm trying to turn it off. I don't know. Do you have it? Uh, city of Orlando's more urban, so. What do you say, John? Yeah. How many how is it rampant? Yeah. How many yeah. Narcan shots are given out of you? <laughs> so uh, they, they give it away at Publix now. Are you no, Narcan? they do not give oh, it away. Oh, it's like seventy dollars. Oh, okay. Because so. I tried to buy it for the studio, and you're saying too expensive. So I'm actually on a on a different unit. I'm still downtown, but I'm on the hazmat unit now. So oh, all doo doo. I don't really uh, oh, do that. Man. Oh, okay. That's where the money's at. I heard too. Hazmat, the, yeah, yeah, uranium. Get, what do you got? Like radioactive stuff. Yeah. Sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Whoa. And then you're running drills all the time. You're running drills that are like, uh, <laughs> the the world. never going to happen. Like, yeah, oh, yeah. I don't know if a nuclear bomb goes yeah, off. They shut off our phones and everyone's got crazy. There's <laughs> Kirsten Dunst. Yeah, yeah. Then, then you get the, you know, you take a weekend getaway at the at Best Western <laughs> and then you're paying double time. Uh, that's a whole thing. Is anyway. that going to happen? Do they control our, do they control our cell phones and at a moment's Ooh. notice, can they shut Have our cell they phones down? They changed Kelly days and all. Let me. Uh, <laughs> I gotta get a Kelly Day question. Always gotta do the Kelly Day thing. Yeah, yeah. gotta get one in. But that uh, I bet you guys don't get the Kelly. Are day, you guys right? playing nope. pickleball? They. Oh, uh, he was. He I called me indeed. yesterday, and I heard it in the background. He's in. All right, let's talk about this. Back and forth. You got to hide the pickleball yeah. in the back. You got to put it in the back. You, you guys are being that. too loosey goosey with the pickleball. There's uh, there's some stations there's over here. There's on the streets. And they're doing it right in the front parking lot. It's the one and there's that's brick that we drive past. <laughs> yeah. the, it looks a little too. It's like a little like cartoony. And because, of course, you got to wait till an emergency happens. These are downtown. No, they you got can, it right out front. You can only wash the, the fire engine so many times. They got it right out front. What station? The one that's talk about like it. a, it's <laughs> like a A frame down that way. But they're showing everybody it's like an old A frame. It's an older station, smaller. Yeah, they're gonna, tax dollars brick. going to pickleball. <laughs> don't let them station ruin four. it for all station, of you. It's station four. Uh, don't station say it. Four. Four. I'm, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm not afraid of these fire jockeys. Oh, I'm yeah. a big deal in this no, city. Yeah, 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 Come yeah. and get me. What are you going to do? Hose all my baby pictures off the wall? Come and get me. Listen, they're all friends. What are you going to do? I got sprinklers, brother. Ever? I got sprinklers. I get water whether you come or not. Yeah, the house will be burning down. I just made that time. up. That was pretty good, that was though, good. right? That was pretty Solid, good. Yeah. I thought that was a pretty solid I, yeah, retort. I, I, ju- 
I like the way you sat up taller in the chair. <laughs> I have to. They I, won't see me on the camera if I shrink. Uh, I just saw a, me- a meme of some guy that didn't pay his like uh, like emergency taxes, which I didn't even know this was is a extortion. thing. extortion. It's like the mafia. But, but his house <laughs> got set on fire, and then the, the firefighter's like, yeah. we're not going to come. <laughs> because, uh, and I'm like, no uh, way. I'll be able to real. spot him. I'll see a mustache <laughs> on my ring camera doorbell. He's out there trying to light my house on fire. And then the meme was like, the firefighters <laughs> were just sitting there and watching the guy's house burn because he didn't pay. I'm like, that didn't happen. Oh, that's the mafia. You can't do that. You have to run in there and save like, my pets. That doesn't happen. Have you seen that meme? You're uh, believing memes now? <laughs> what happened to you? <laughs> what is a lot has happened in the last <laughs> hour. It seemed like a news story. It was news.com. Since you went to the restroom, a lot has happened. <laughs> oh, my All right. God. We're done here. Uh, <laughs> Steve, John, Johnny, thank Did we you make so it much. weird again like Steve, we always John, do? Yeah, yeah. You always do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we always make it real weird. Yeah, yeah. I, like, I hope one day we make it so weird and never come back. <laughs> we, uh, <laughs> but it never yeah. hasn't happened yet. You guys are dedicated. I like that. I got an idea. What? Swim cap with hair sewed oh, into oh, it. Hold on, hold, hold on. And then you go to the event and <laughs> yes. shave your swim cap. We have actually, uh, John came up with an idea because he heard that you didn't want to wear a swim cap. So, John, would you like to uh, present them with what we have? That, uh, I'll put your balls on his head. <laughs> that he, uh, he that's could wear. ultimate bully a firefighter would do. Johnny so, can hold me down. I, I know that. That's <laughs> ultimate bully. Yeah, so right. this was this so, was John's uh, this was John's idea right here. Yeah. So this is actually this is in honor of our ten year anniversary. Ten year anniversary. Uh, wow! Whoa! Look at that! Holy smokes! <laughs> Dude! Oh, look at that. That's oh, amazing! Wow. Oh, look at corporate time. Uh, oh, I'm on the front too. Oh, dude, that is too cool. That is too He's cool. He's got to scratch that uh, off at the end of the day. <laughs> <laughs> it lights up. There's a little Sam's button quitting. in there. I forgot to tell Press you. the button and light there's it up. There's a button. You got to. Oh, oh, there's a light up yeah, button? In, inside, inside. 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 He doesn't know technology. Inside. Oh, oh wow. Well. He doesn't know what he's doing inside. here. Oh, no, guys. Hey, what? Where's the button? How do I turn this shit on? Come on. It's like your grandpa using a button. Find the button. Find the button. So he just can't put the swim cap on. That's actually. Actually, no, he that can't. is a problem. He yeah, just yeah. doesn't know how to do it. I see the button here. It's like giving your grandpa your <laughs> Jesus your. Jesus Christ! What are you doing? Uh, now? Turn, it on. <laughs> turn it on for me. Oh, turn it oh, on. Sad. Pop pop. I don't know where the actual button is there. This is such a sweet gift. Uh, it two is minutes a, after. Uh, that's a lovely gift. I don't need no damn fire. You can't really, I know. Oh yeah. Well, yeah, that, was yeah, yeah. that was all jokes. That was just yeah, we're used to it. Yeah, that was just uh, that was just joking. joking that's piss. better. Back in the day, he only used to try to pit us against each other, and then oh, he would no, try no. to pit it, us against cops. police. Yeah, yeah. yeah we and we're like, hey, <laughs> we don't carry tasers, <laughs> batons, or better? guns. Cops are you. Go. <laughs> I, I, I'm keeping this on the passenger seat of my truck. Oh yeah. Because I know because my buddy told. Me. Yep. There, you keep your firefighter ID. I in, keep a hat in oh, the wait, floor. Huh? So when you show oh, the cops, you're, they're like, "Oh, we get the other one." Yeah, huh? yeah, yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, we got a whole fleet going on here. Yeah, now, yeah. some people have a badge that they wear, you know, in their wallet or whatever. But uh, I just keep a hat. <laughs> Mine's too big. Oh, oh that's, wow, that's just the show. <laughs> oh. <No. laughs> <laughs> my, we're oh, heroes. My, what, you mean, little like, little oh. Timmy. I want you guys to take a look at a real patriot. <laughs> God, I, I, I feel like playing miniature tennis right now. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, my God. You look like a doozer from the Fraggle Rock. <laughs> All right, that was fun. All right. Well, guys, thank you so much. Yes. Wow. Thank, thank you for that gift. Yeah, yeah. That, is, that is too kind. We appreciate you guys so much. Yeah, and um, we next, appreciate you guys having us on. Do it again next year. year. Do it again. Do it again. Yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Ever, let's do it every year until the show dies, which could be soon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hit us up. I don't know if you guys know this. It's my last week. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Sam, the last show week. might be done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. We yeah, yeah. You, we, you are the glue. Yeah, yeah. and there is no the fire hat you can give her. Just She's out. She's out of here. This, this you can place give her is a, a dumpster fire. You can yeah, give her yeah. a truck, a hose. She's not coming back. My truck already caught on fire. It's yeah, fine. Yeah. I'm um, so glad we put Sam on there. I know, right yeah. on the front. Oh, yeah. It's oh, bigger. Tom's mad, man. And it's bigger than our names. Oh. <laughs> That's <laughs> true. <laughs> Next year, can we have an axe? Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, axe. We got a lot of helmets. Wait, I want an axe now. Can we trade that for an axe? Uh, and then uh, the Jaws of Life, you got an old one sitting around, yeah, right? Yeah, you got an old Jaws laying around? <laughs> yeah. yeah, sure. What's yeah, yeah, because you I want to use that to for... open people's houses open. <laughs> <laughs> you open the doors. Yeah, yeah. How often do you use that thing? It seems like... Uh, we got to get out of here, I think. Oh, Unless you want to power no, 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 I'm no, no, all for no, it. No, we got to do I'm all for thing. it. Uh, Every day. Uh, 
Um, Hero si- stuff every day. Just look up St. Baldrick's. It's this Sunday, uh, Celery City, or not, uh, Citrus City Craft. Citrus City, yep. And, yep. and, um, you blew it. St. Baldrick's. All, <laughs> all of that shit. Get the one name wrong. St. Baldrick's. Over. Over. We got to start over. Erase this. So hold <laughs> yeah, put yeah, hold put that hat back in your bag. <laughs> <laughs> all I can excited it again. Stbaldrick's.org. Right. Yep. Central Florida in the search, and you can find us. Yep. All right, Give appreciate some it, money guys, and help out the kiddos, y'all. And thank you, guys, as always. We really do appreciate it. Yep, thank and you. we will see you tomorrow. Welcome to a corporate time with Tom and Dan. I'm Tom. I am Dan. Samantha, our producer's here. Hello, Sam. Hello. So I think this started when I told the story about uh, we were talking about engagements and people asking other people to marry them. And, That's how it works, right? And the uh, the most embarrassing engagement story I heard uh, when I was at a uh, client meeting, let's say, and then the uh, the person told the story about them asking their girlfriend to marry them in a hot air balloon, yeah, and they said no mm. uh, while they were flying around, and then they just had to sit there and wait <sighs> until the hot air balloon landed with the fire guy, and you know well, we laughed like, about I think him. he's the pilot. I the mean, pilot. the fire guy. I like. <laughs> Pilot is a little, you know, I agree. Too much. After looking at our next guest's photos, I will say that that does not look like a pilot. That is a grade A fire guy. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't think it's fair to call yourself a pilot. Like, uh, well, when the wind is your pilot, right? I mean, like you're just up there, like right? The wind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, can we, I, a Captain does Sully's anyone a pilot. know anybody that runs a hot air balloon? Because that would be a great weird job. Because how? No, I, I don't even know how it works. No, but you don't to be run a hot air balloon. A hot air balloon runs you. But you, you lift it up and put it down, right? Yeah, you pick yeah. it up and put it. Down. You pick it up <laughs> yeah, yeah. and put you're, it down. You're, you're, you're just in charge of the altitude, yes. and yeah. then the the wind actually blows you wherever yeah. you can. Your pants t- turn it. You're literally pants. You just go up and yeah. down. No, yeah, everything okay. else is completely out of your control. You should be able to throw out a sail of some sort to uh, you maybe well, catch the wind to pull you. Now you're getting into steampunk. Garbage. Sailing balloon? What are <laughs> no, we doing? No, no. I don't know. This guy's trying to get. There's no way to turn. No, there is. Then that becomes. Then you have a submersible. Then you become like. You become like a Zeppelin, then you're steampunk, then you got a top hat on, and you got like a little copper bird sitting on your shoulder. So anyway, speaking of hot air balloons, then Daniel talked to Why am I? Am I the hot air They're called aeronauts. Did you? Exactly. It's a steampunk. And this guy goes, speaking of hot air balloon, Daniel, why'd you do that? Well, because you're the one that talked to this BDM who told you the story, and then you were like, man, this is going to be a good story for the show. Yeah, we do have a BDM who is... Well, I mean, he's on the line with us right now. Uh, is it JD or DJ? DJ, DJ, DJ. <laughs> DJ. Hey, how's it going? Hey, How welcome to the show. Welcome he's to in the a show. balloon. Yeah, there's, he's actually live, delay. live from a balloon. No, so you had emailed me when we were talking about this, and you, in fact, did, or you have a hot air balloon adjacent, uh, like, uh, you know, engagement story, right? Correct, yeah. So how does it start? Well, uh, at first I asked my uh, well, my wife's father now for the hand of marriage, and then I started working up a plan in order to to ask her. To Did you have? Me. How long were you guys dating? Yeah, good question. Uh, four years. Ooh, right. okay, that's deep that's, in. That's a long time. Did you have a like a, a hot list of things you wanted to do? Where you like, okay, I got hot air balloon, I got whale tank, I got <laughs> Matt Reif show. I got. It's, it's funny you mentioned the whale tank. Uh, <gasps> my uh, my cousin up in Georgia, they did the proposal for theirs at the aquarium there. Yeah, like, your whole family's yeah. in. Yeah. Your whole family's yeah. in on this. You guys like pizzazz. Yeah. You guys you like, like the spectacle. Yeah, you like to go big. You're here for the show. I love it. Yeah, you're not yeah, here so for like, a long time. You're big. here for a good time. No. Uh, DJ, let me ask you a question. Yeah. So, and this always uh, made me curious. So, when I asked Crystal to marry me, I did it on our annual camping trip, which we're going on. And uh, so romantic, you know, and so romantic. And that was because that was basically the first trip we took together, and we did it every every year. And we were with our friends. Yeah, we're so, drunk with our friends. Yeah, yeah. What's more romantic? Yeah, it's called the give up. It's like this is what we do every year. Might as, might well, as well ask you to marry yeah. me. Well, my, my point. We're doing it anyway. Might as well just throw a ring. In there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well, that's kind of. We'll be yeah. doing this until we die. 
Goodbye. So the this is what you have to look forward to, Crystal, for the rest of your <laughs> yeah. life, getting drunk in the woods and with my he, dumb friends. Then I went to bed. Yeah. Then, oh. then he peed the bed, and then during, while he was asking her, he peppered in four or five C words <laughs> for girl parts. <laughs> Uh, so the point the point is though I did it at a annual like you fringe went trip. You went big. No, no. Well, th- that we've done uh, every year for like uh, a long time, and it, uh, I deemed it special to us, and therefore I picked Was that it place. Special to. You too, or just special to you? I don't know. Like, no, well, nothing yeah. special. You know what? You know what's on, honestly though. He, I think he hit this one. This one's no. right. It is special to both of them. So this one he got. But but it's my a good one. But my question, like my overall question, is I I'm curious to the people that do the one off things like the hot air balloon or aquarium the, whale tank or may, but the aquarium. If you like went to the aquarium all the time with your significant other, then it meant something to you. But I'm like, I'm talking about the one off like, Hey, we're, I'm going to do this on top of a mountain that we never, we're not right. mountain climbers. We're, we're accomplishing doing, something. Yeah, 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 maybe I guess, but the, it's like people are picking things that are totally random that they've never done before. So that's odd because it's like if, yeah. if you're like, not into if it. If somehow Travis got me on a hot air balloon, which is probably impossible because I will never get on one, I'd be so terrified. Do not ask me to marry because I probably would <laughs> yeah, say yeah. no. Because yeah, I'm like, get me like, off of this balloon. Not yeah. to be counterpoint there, but, but and I, I get what you're saying, but I also see the part of like, hey, we're doing something that's so like... We're sharing this experience. Yeah, we're doing One-off something adventure. so out of the ordinary. Like, like if you had taken... Uh, you know, your on, wife on Black Beach in Hawaii and been like, yeah, or like when you were um next to the volcano or something. I could totally see it because okay. it's oh, like drop the ring in the volcano. <laughs> but, but, but that ties yeah, into right, right. we've been to Hawaii before. We, they, we like going on trips. But now you're there. Okay. But even if you didn't, I could see yeah. you going like like me and Andrea on a beach. It like uh, in a place that we've never been before, sharing a moment, and I'm like, ah, there's never going to be a better time. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I yeah. get it. I get it. I, I just uh, the, the if you're not into hot air balloons and that's not part of your relationship, it's an odd thing to just pick to do. Well, maybe one I mean, off. I mean, now, <laughs> now there's right? another side of what you're saying is that maybe, just maybe, and this is what this is what we call the accidental dickhead, is that what Tom is saying is that DJ is so uninteresting that he had to go with what a cliche of exciting would be, and that's the <laughs> hot air balloon, right? So DJ, why'd you do it? Hot air balloon. <laughs> well, we like to do like experiences and traveling and, you know, different things like that. Uh, at the time, I was a little bit more poor than what I am now, but you know, I thought that would be a cool experience. You know, it was our first time ever being in a hot air balloon. It'd be something different. All right. Gotcha. But I guess it's a cliche now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, like, but it's big. It's, it is it's a big one. Like, I did a cliche, too. Like, I hid mine in the Christmas tree. I mean, there's literally nothing more cliche than asking your wife to marry you on some sort of stupid holiday, holiday you know? Like, uh, whatever. Uh, well, uh, yeah, hiding the we'll ring in the Christmas tree is guy. That kind of, I've never really heard of that. Uh, that is not, you know, the hot air balloon, uh... The at least his had in front know, of people. At least he got an experience. So uh, we got an experience. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it was an experience. All right. Oh, <laughs> so <DJ. laughs> tell tell us how the day started. Where where was this? Um, it was out by Champions Gate. Um, okay. But I started off. Everything by bad happens out by Champions Gate. By the way, <laughs> every disaster that you'll ever have yeah, as a Floridian is out by Champions. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, from the hot air balloon, you could look down and you're like, "There's no Champions here. <laughs> not, not a one. Not a lot a, of Brazilians. Not a one. <laughs> I know. Sorry. Uh, but uh, yeah, I started emailing the guy to let him know that I planned on doing this and uh, to make it somewhat special and all that stuff, and made sure he recorded the whole thing because that was one of the the checklists of. If she said that uh, if I was going to propose, she wants it either to be recorded or in a public place. Okay. Like okay. So this 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 is more interesting. Yeah, I didn't because know we that. know the the finality of the answer, right? But so she had already assumed that you were eventually going to propose to her. So that was in. In the planning of you guys together for four years. Also, I don't. She think... thought you guys were going to get married. Oh yeah. yeah. Also, DJ, for four years, she was like, uh, "Whenever you're ready." <laughs> well, DJ, oh, you'll have to tell me and Sam. Maybe you know you can help me weigh in on this. Although I don't know if you even know if this is a thing. Is that a thing that like ladies? Because I don't know what that's like. Like Andrea gave me no expectations of like, yo, oh, I want to yeah. be married. Let me. Oh, women will like straight up point at, uh, like tell the guys what kind of ring they want. Oh, oh yeah, Crystal. No, yeah. I didn't have any of that. Crystal cut out a picture of the ring she wanted. And I told Trav, don't don't ask me in front of people. Don't make it public. I don't want that. 
Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't think Andrea wanted to be married. To oh. Like, well, all, I'm different. being serious. Maybe like, that's why she didn't like, say anything it about it. Never <laughs> came, it's, it. It was never. It was just like, hey, we're living together. We're doing our thing. It was never. There was zero expectations. She never brought up, like, hey, when are you going to uh, pop the question? I, never. Not even no. ever. Oh. She may not even know we're married now. Well, you know what? You, you guys have a kind of a old man, little girl relationship. <laughs> oh, so my maybe God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the old man, little girl. Yeah. DJ left. <laughs> <in> the, <laughs> you know, that, that, that plays into it. It's like, uh, you know, because you, you, there's a, a, you know, an age difference there of 15 years. So uh, maybe that is. Is it 15 years? <laughs> I don't know what it, it is. is. not 15 years. <laughs> when he's oh, what? He, he, I thought, I thought was, you were saying she was 15 yeah, at the time. He, I was like, whoa. You, he went so far, it didn't become a joke. <laughs> like he went so far, it was like, "Oh my god!" Wait a minute, did Dan groom her? What happened? <laughs> like he had me checking my dates. Uh, well, I mean, it's grooming light. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> it's adjacent. Yeah. Okay. I say it's adjacent. Um, so I mean, I didn't like her because she looked old. True. <laughs> so DJ, um, so yep. you come up with the plan of hot air balloon and you set it up with the pilot, yeah, the yeah. aeronaut, and he's yeah. going to record. Talk to him. Let him know. Is he and a then, cool uh, guy? What? Like, is he open to your suggestions, or is he like, has he seen it before? He probably gets it a lot, right? Uh, I'm not sure if he got it a lot, but not for me afterwards. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Okay. Uh, but, yeah, um, I set it up with him. He was all for it inside the emails and all that stuff leading up to it. And then the day of, we meet up at the parking lot over at uh, the public plaza over at Champions Gate. <laughs> you yes. got your pub subs? <laughs> We're ballooning as a no, pleasure. No, they weren't open yet. It was like 5 a.m. or something like that. It is. Uh, but, yeah. uh, I've been on a hot air balloon over in that area, <laughs> which supposed to be the hot air balloon zone of yeah. Orlando. And uh, it is odd that you take off from a random field and then you land in random fields. Yeah. Like, there's no. It's a loosey goosey. <laughs> it's, how, it's how hippies think cars should be, yeah, right? You but, just get in and just float you down the road. Like, you, they get permission. They don't own it, though. It's like, oh, we were allowed to take off yeah. from this field next to I 4. It's a lot of be cool, bro. <laughs> it is. I feel like I, I do that. I do like that. So I like that of Hot Air Balloon is that you are asking for forgiveness a lot, I feel like. DJ, let me ask, did your fiancé at the or your girlfriend at the time, did she kind of, <laughs> like, was she tipped off that this is probably going to happen because it's, like, yeah. you know, you're, you're doing some grandiose Hot Air Balloon ride. She knows. She's done yeah. the math. Were you wearing like, a tuxedo the, with tails, I hope? <laughs> the question <laughs> is coming sometime soon, so yeah. it, this is probably going to be... Because I feel like once you hit that point in your relationship where the, the usually the stereotype is the girl is like pre, like not pressuring but uh, that dropping is the, no, hints. That is the stereotype. You know, like Crystal's putting uh, pictures yeah. of the ring in my uh, wallet and like so any sort of <laughs> somebody put trash in my wallet. If I'm inviting her, <laughs> to, like, hey, let's go out to a fancy dinner, she's in the right. back of no, her mind. Right. She's like, oh, it's yeah. gonna this happen. Could be it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you can get in a lot of trouble doing that too. So, do you think that was happening? Well, I mean, she probably expected something, like I said already before. She already told me that she wanted to be in a public place or on camera somehow. And on it was camera? her four-year so dating such anniversary. A, the, no, I'm, not, I'm not throwing shade at all to the woman that you love, but it like it seems... She wanted to be seen. Yeah, I mean, wanting to be seen. I mean, is she a performer at all? Is that, like, does she like the attention? Is Does she do it for the applause? No, she's actually pretty shy. Huh. And she doesn't like to be on the camera or anything like that. She's but won the memory. I think yeah. after my cousins. <laughs> mm. Right. Oh, yeah, you're right. After she saw what it could be, she's like, I want a little taste of that. So what happened? Exactly. Uh, so, yeah, we got there. Um, there was another two or three balloon companies there in the parking lot. Uh-oh. And Turf war. When we all drove out about the same time. And it, it started seeming a little weird that our guy went to the one field that all the other balloons did not go to. I was like, okay, well, maybe it could be a little romantic. We're off on our own. We take off on our own. You know, uh, your old lady can take her top off if you want to. I won't look. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she ain't doing that. So you, um, you're you off on a field, then you're by yourselves, uh, different from where all the other balloons are. Yeah, he was basically saying, oh, this is a better way to, the better place to take off from. Oh, like, so you were getting uh, the yeah. Tom Van. <laughs> <laughs> uh, felt like it. Um, so then, you know, after it uh, took like, what, 30 minutes or something like that to heat up the balloon and start taking off. Once we get up in the air, I'm like, okay, this, this might actually go well. 
So then we get up, and then uh, then I noticed that all the other balloons that took off from the other lot, you could see them up in the air. And they're uh, really high and further out than what we are. And then um, I noticed that we're, like, hovering right above the tree lines. All um, right. I, I sent you guys the video of that. Yeah, yeah, I have the video up right now so everybody can see. It looks like you're basically just bu- – it looks like you're inspecting roofs for secure roofing <laughs> and solar. Like, you are literally just <laughs> above – like, you could spit on a house. You're so close oh, yeah. to, like, the houses and the trees. All and, right. Um, so, yeah. So well, you, at you, one point – at one point, one of the tree lines, we actually dipped down in between the trees. Like, we were lower than the tree line. And then we dipped back up eventually. Now, did you ask the pilot, hey, why are we so low? Was he telling you? Oh, like, I just got oh. to fire this well, thing up a little bit say? more. I bet that's what he's saying. What would you say in there? I would, uh, is there a reason why we're so low? No, is no, if you were the pilot. Because I'm imagining that this guy. Oh, I tell him I'm doing this on purpose. Yeah, <laughs> okay. <laughs> but in my mind, I'm freaking the F out. And, and then I'm thinking how I'm going to get Uh-oh. fired to my insurance. <laughs> I'm, thinking, you know, I'm, like, I'm thinking that. Your basket's going to go right through a window. All this running through my mind is that video of the hot air balloon that gets caught on the power lines and then gets electrocuted, it burns the wires off and the basket falls oh, to the, the ground. Oh, the basket falls. Yeah. You're burning as you're falling. <laughs> burning and falling. Yeah, yeah. I was like, I'm going to burn to death yeah. with these people here. <laughs> anyway. Jesus. Well, like you guys said, the, the pilot, quote unquote, <laughs> yeah. he was blaming it on the, the wind. He's like, oh, there, you know, there's too much oh, wind up here wind. and if, if we go too high, it'll take us away. So he's 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 saying he doesn't want to go high into the wind, (laughs) so he's staying low. Take us away forever and ever. Well, he's like, if I if I stay low to the ground, then our chaser can find us. But if we go too high, then we'll just hit a a wind vortex and take off or something. (laughs) Goddamn wizard of Oz! If we hit a vortex, we'll be lost forever in the sky. I'm telling you, like they uh, they are like uh, literally. This is a new guy. They cannot uh, do anything if they if they get caught up in the wind. (laughs) So (laughs) so you're you're siding you're siding with this man. You're saying that yes. Here's I put up another photo so you can see how close they are to like a dirt field. Well, I guess because they can only land at a couple agreed upon fields like down the road or whatever. Well, then you shouldn't even take it out if you're just going to cruise between the houses. <laughs> if you get into a place like Del Toto where the houses are on top of each other, you're going to have to navigate the streets or you're going to just be slamming into houses. <laughs> yeah, like I'm not sure if you get blown off course like how far you have to go. Before uh, you could to, land uh, again, you know, I don't know. What, like, what was was he really like? So you you never got higher. Than, like, so basically, your entire hot air balloon ride. You're like a drone. You could have <laughs> jumped out, right? You could have jumped oh, out yeah. and been okay every step of the way. <laughs> Tom, you said you've been on a, a hot air balloon, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, you know how loud the the, the torch is, right? Yeah, yeah. All right, we were hovering above those houses there. You see. And somebody came out, and they were talking to us. We were talking to them <laughs> from the hot air balloon. Uh, they were like, uh, hey, you're flying a little low, aren't you? And that's what I thought. The guy's like, no, I'm not oh going up there. Can I'm you imagine? Away. You're like in your backyard sunbathing, and this goddamn yeah. hot air balloon comes over. And then the guy's like, I'm not taking her up, because I'm not flying away. We're just cruising the streets in my balloon. So did so you're flying super low, low enough to talk to people in their backyards. Did, well, that's good for yeah. losing the ring, though. If Did, you're going to pop out the <laughs> ring or anything, at least you'd be able to, you know. So the, are you thinking in your mind, like, um, I'm, I want to ask the big question, but I don't want to do it. With, like, did you yeah. think about aborting? Well, or, yeah, like, baby. <laughs> you're yeah, screaming yeah. over the flames. You don't want to do it. The, well, she did want it in front of people, so she maybe did. being that low will work to your advantage. Well, she said either on, like, a recording, which we knew that this was being recorded because that's what I already set up. And oh, everything. you should have done it on the slingshot at Fun Spot. <laughs> they record that. Would have had a better time. <laughs> but yeah, so yeah. At, at this point, I was more worried that we were going to crash into something or something like that, and I was like freaking out. <laughs> and uh, I, we started talking to the guy, you know, just making small talk as we hover above the earth. And then uh, he found out that from my wife from small talk that she works over at one of the resorts over there. And he was saying this as a, a business opportunity to uh, 
see if we, he could take off his balloon from their property. <laughs> this was there. Tom, man. This was you. Oh, this was hold 100% on. you. Oh, they got some good feels over there. <laughs> you think you could uh, ask your boss? Uh, maybe if it'll... He was trying to relocate his business instead of flying. Super resort, can, you, can you let me take off? <laughs> they got, there's a quality clientele in that area. <laughs> some real money pigs around there. <laughs> I can market my, uh, my balloons in the uh, lobby of a lot of Motel 6s. The bad thing is, is that uh, she works at the front desk, so like she doesn't know anybody at the right. resort that's high enough to make those decisions. And well, he didn't know that. I, <laughs> He's giving her the full. I thought pitch. he knew that. Enough. Can you? If I gave you some pamphlets, can you, <laughs> you leave them, them by there? <laughs> uh, Put so, some cards by the door. So, did you end up asking her to marry you? Not on that. Balloon ride. Oh, good. <laughs> so, so you bailed. You bailed. You bailed. <laughs> That's the best part. All right. I, I, yeah, I pulled pulled off on that one. Okay. Now, was the uh, pilot you? disappointed? Did he like, hey, aren't you going to yeah. do it? What like, the hell happened? You gay? <laughs> yeah, that's one hundred percent what he said. You know he said that. You know he did. Or if he didn't uh, say, it, I think at that point he was just he trying to it. do a sales pitch more than anything.